All right. And yes, Kaiser, the five free it was shut down, you jerk. Kaiser, Listen, <laughs> man. <laughs> God damn it. Kaiser, you're you're hundred percent. I'm frozen still. Well, you have nothing. Yeah, I'm no feet. square now. Uh, I okay, I'll, I can't I'll see. Is that a black? Is everything black for everyone right now? No. Oh, never no. mind. Whoa, zoomed out, and that worked. Hello. Yeah, you got to zoom out. That's why it was. Yeah, you can't see the whole map. Huge map. There we go. You're back. All right. All right. So everybody's I'm, everybody's I'm leveled a up, right? Very level and going double attack. Oh, I haven't boy. done anything. So let why me would get I to, be uh, leveled up? I just got here, Carrie. Can you guys see me now? I thought you said you leveled up. No. When, okay. when would I do that? I don't know. Thought you said you did. I yeah, I did ask you, and you said yes. That's true. When? <laughs> like in right before this. I probably wasn't responding. I probably wasn't responding to that. I, I don't. Maybe your brain hadn't kicked fully in yet. It's cool. <clears throat> uh, you, you're going fifth level uh, bar, barbarian. Right? Yep. Can, can you guys see me now on on just on roll twenty? Oh fuck! Yeah. Or, or I still fucked up. No, you're good on roll twenty. Okay. Uh, Yo, so we're you... never gonna use Skype because Skype is hot garbage. Oh uh, yeah, I don't really. No like way. Skype. Yeah, Skype is pretty shitty. All right. Fuck. Well, I changed uh, my level to five. That's about it. Yeah, I mean, change six. To five. No, you. Uh, you, should you should get a bunch of shit at five, shouldn't you? You get a proficiency bonus. No, for bonus? barbarian. Oh, yeah. for barbarian, yeah. Yeah, you're gonna add one point to your proficiency bonus, I believe. Uh, you get the extra attack, and you get five movement. Oh, well, sorry, fast movement. And a D12. It does. Or... It does proficiency bonus automatically, doesn't it? I think so. Uh, yeah, let me it look does. At the character sheet. Okay. Okay. Because cool. it's three now. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Uh, yeah, proficiency so just... level, and then I get two skills, which I need to fucking find my book for. Uh, I can paste them in chat if you want me to. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Cause I'm. I want to put it in my notes and shit. Yeah. All right. Give me <laughs> one second. There's a uh, extra attack. <laughs> extra attack. Yeah, shit. I didn't even look at it. So, does that proc twice with Polar Master or not? I'm probably gonna have to Google that shit. I meant to yeah. look it up, but I forgot. I mean, so does, did I. does Polar Master count as part of your attack action? Yeah. So let's see, extra attack. Beginning at fifth level, you can attack twice instead of once. Whenever you take the, uh, when it, oh wait, is your polar mastery a bonus attack? I don't think so. My tongue is. Oh no. Yeah, girl. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, your your polar mastery just gives you a follow up attack, right? Yeah. 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 So technically, so before now. I think it is a bonus attack though. Yeah, well, I, we'll have to look at Polar Mastery and see what that says exactly. When you attack, uh, take attack the attack the action master. and attack with only Glaive Halberd. You can use a bonus action. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, it is okay. a bonus. So, okay, so it's yeah, one. You, yeah, you, you get one follow-up. All right, cool. Yeah, I All right. just Googled that. So I have, the most straightforward, I have the most straightforward shit then. So double attack and fast movement, which is what, 35? I'm posting a fast movement now. Ugh, fucking... There we go. Yeah, James Zilla confirm. Uh, pull arm master is bonus action to hit. Okay. Yeah, then that all makes sense. Oh, 10 feet. Holy shit. So he's saying you get yeah, two attacks with one oh butt attack. Oh my god. I'm about to be as OP as Larry. Yes, sir. <laughs> So I'm sitting at 55 hit points. Except you can move like 40 feet. Except my OP isn't cool. Doesn't have a cooldown. <laughs> uh, what a and it's a D12, right? So D12. What a tag. Seven plus your Constitution. If you're not feeling hot on the roll, you can take you take a seven and just add your con modifier. It's up to you. 
I'm gonna take a seven and add my con modifier. Damn. So it's gonna be eight. Yeah, that's the <laughs> that's the save option. All right. It's like what fifty-five health. Nice. How much health does Travis have? A hundred. <laughs> Forty-eight. Oh, finally! Oh my god, finally the Barbarian has surpassed the Ranger. Oh, man. And and we're tied for health now. You and I? Mm -hmm. That makes sense. And, and Kaiser has 11 now? 38, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Double digits! Uh, <laughs> All right, That's okay, cool. I don't get hit very often because I hide behind you guys. But when you do, it's hilarious. It's true. <laughs> it's true. All yeah, right. every fight, I'm waiting for that one kobold swing to just annihilate you. <laughs> but right, I'm so crafty. Go. So crafty. You'll talk your way out of getting hit. It's, I mean, listen to this, look at this army that I talked my way into. I know, <laughs> holy hell. All right. All right, let's do this. so, are you ready to, you ready to get started here? Yeah, I think I've done everything. All yeah, right, it looks cool. like it. We're good. Yeah, we're good. Cool. So let's okay. let's um. So you guys, just a little bit of a recap for people that are there, watching and the first time they're seeing us. Uh, the group has we're playing Horde of the Dragon Queen. Uh, if you haven't noticed, this is the <laughs> Horde of the Dragon Queen. So we're we're on we're playing this. We've had several detours out of this. Uh, we've been on, been in this campaign for about a year or more. Uh, I think we're in we're on more now. <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, I can't believe it. They're at the point where where they have infiltrated Castle Natar, and uh, just before this, they've sent one of the uh, followers of Wrigglesanks into uh, cause a disruption. So they went in and released these giant lizards from their pen, which then caused a big disruption for the Bullywugs outside, and so that allowed them just enough time to slip past all that chaos and get into the castle where they were able to sweet talk their way uh, into the inside of the part of the castle. They slayed the Bullywugs and dismantled their their call to call to arms drum up in the uh, top part of the front of the t castle and then moved on to the back where they saw some lizard folk and Bullywugs uh, training some giant lizards. Geth, uh, once they established that they were quote-unquote cultists here to see the the person in charge, which is Isbara Joss. Uh, Geth rushes in, talks to one of the giant lizards, and he sweet talks uh, the lizards. Yeah, he sweet talks the lizards and convinces them to basically eat the bullywugs. Um, so I casually walked in because yeah, I'm casually, fucking yeah, he, he kind of strolled in. <laughs> so. I'm getting you frozen again, Kaiser. Just so you know. Fucking bitch. I know. So so lame. So uh, I can still hear and see you guys. Yeah. So. so basically, what happened was uh, the one of one of the characters. His name was Red Scale. Seemed to be the leader of the bunch right there. And uh, once the bullywugs were eaten, the lizards went and go. They went to go take a nap. Red Scale led the group. Because he recognized that they were the uh, the followers of Wriggleshanks, or Wriggleshanks or has spread the word to all the lizard folk that this group is here to make the mayor great again. So, <laughs> so that uh, most most lizard folk believe in this, but there's still maybe a few in the bunch that aren't so sure. So, uh, now that Red Scale has brought you into uh, what seems to be the lizard folk barracks and uh, relax room. It, you guys are now looking at basically what you see here. That he's awoken the guys that are that were napping in the side. We just got a follower, I believe. Um, welcome. So, so we uh, welcome. Yeah. We, uh, welcome. So we uh, basically have. Red Scale, you guys were talking to him a bit, and uh, 
you know, he, he meets with you, shows you the barracks where tons of lizard folk are residing. Some of these lizard folk are exercising and uh, other pockets of other ones appear to be like gambling or telling stories of happier times. Uh, you catch some of them uh, as you're, you're walking by. You hear a small conversation between two talking about how uh, Farblex is a piece of shit and you know, how they hate the other bullywugs and they wish they could just get rid of them. Uh, Red Scale brings you into the middle of the room and he starts to introduce you to the crew uh, and he tells you about the how he and his, this group here they are di directly employed by a high elf named Dralmor Borngray and uh, you know he's he tells you about how Dralmor is uh, he has complete trust in the lizard folk that's why he they are appointed as his personal guard uh, especially Red Scale's group, and uh, you know they're there to basically keep the Bullywugs in check because Dralmor doesn't really trust the Bullywugs much either. So uh, yeah, he he, co he goes on. He's like S the one with the sword and shield is Dralmor. He's big boss of us, and we do as he say. Things change though when him and Farberlex heard that the uprising that Shigur Riggleshanks has planned. Many who believe in Riggleshanks are here now, but others may need convincing. And he stands up in front of all of his brethren, taps, taps his chest with his club, and he says, Clutchmates, hear me now! We have seen this one! And he points to Geth. Uh, we have seen this one talk to the giant lizards. They care not for the Bullywugs. What, what do you say we do with them? And, uh, just then, one of the lizardmen speaks out of turn. Red Scale! Where is Riggleshanks if these are the ones who will save the mayor? Riggleshanks should be among them if this is true! And all fiery, all the lizard folks look at with you, they basically look at you with fiery eyes. And uh, you guys are on the spot. You must now convince the lizard folk that you are in fact with Riggleshanks. And explain where he has gone. Uh, yo, I think I got this. <laughs> sure. Uh, guys, you want me to? You want me to get this? Uh, uh if you have I, a plan. I, I'm just gonna hang in the back up against the, <laughs> the wall here with my yes. dwarf nail. Yes, okay. friends, Riggle Shanks. We are with him. He's our partner. He was helping us complete some very culty things, and uh, he is now out looking for one of our companions who got lost in the mare while we were traveling through it. Uh, I hate to interrupt you, Lucius. Oh, go on. But maybe tell these fine lizard people yes. of Riggleshank's communion with Falam and Ganta. Ah, yeah, uh, what, Vorman Gathar? Why don't you talk about that? Oh, <laughs> and, and like the 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 room lights up as you say Vorman Gathar, because uh, they know that this this dragon he is the dude in charge of the mayor, right? And to the lizard folk, he's almost godlike to them. Oh, right. And you've yeah. seen this with Riggleshanks, right? Like, they, they've heard of the legends. If you follow the Will-O-Wisps, you'll be led to Vormengathar. And man, does he keep things in check. But he's kind of been... He hasn't been so in check lately. And, uh, you know, he, he's kind of let a couple things happen where we've gotten into this situation where the, the Bullywugs are kind of in charge, but we got the Cult of the Dragon in the mare. And so the, the Lizard Folk, you know, they're kind of on the fence. They want to... They want to do what's right, but man, they can't. They they can't just take care of stuff themselves like Vorm and Gathar could. So uh, the one that's that's asking, he says, the the one that spoke out of turn, he's he's actually this dude has. Uh, it looks like his leg is missing. He's actually on a on a peg leg, and uh, you know, Red Scale looks to him and he's like, Rubble Stump. You look like you have more questions. And so, hey, was he born that way? <laughs> yeah. Are you asking? 
was was his name a premonition of what, <laughs> what was to come? Oh yes, so, it must have been. So, so Rubble stumped. Wait, so yeah, while ahead. everyone while they're, everyone's talking, there's this big commotion taking over the barracks. I put my hand up to silence the room, and I say, "I cannot let my comrades make fools of themselves, stumbling over stories of what did or did not happen." Riggle Shanks gave his life to Vormangathar in order to save the rest of our party. We ventured into his lair after following the wisps, and the dragon awoke. Riggle Shanks sacrificed himself so that I may escape and our party may flee. Riggle Shanks was a hero. All right, so I need you to roll. Let's see. That that, that is a pretty good speech. Let's see here. Um, <laughs> <sighs> I need you to roll. Uh, let's see. What a, what? Throw me some. Throw me some. You think would be fitting? I think like persuasion. Mm. Um, diplomacy. If we even have Diplomacy, that still. Diplomacy, if that was a real thing. Yeah, that'd yeah, be that'd fucking be... perfect. So Dude, have if that, only that, that was, was a real, real thing. thing. Mute yourself. <laughs> yeah, Kaiser, oh, goddammit. it. everywhere. Nope. Yeah. Oh my god. So as I'm sitting in the back against the wall, um, I'm just going to kind of look over. I have, I have my, my flask in my hand. I need to refresh. I need to, you know... Uh, <clears throat> I can't allow myself to become sober again because the hands get all wobbly <laughs> and the, the rolls are bad. Got those so, <laughs> and the rolls are bad. Uh, so, I'm just going to kind of, um, after taking another drink, I'm going to kind of just like look over to Jartek with, with the flask in hand, kind of tap him on the shoulder with it, offering it over. Uh, so, Jartek is, oh, is going to nod. And take it. What if I created diplomacy and you made it a wisdom roll? Well, <laughs> no, I'm, 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 be, I'm, I'm being complete. I'm being completely serious. Like, what well, do you want to do? Like what do you want to do? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let's see. Uh, oh, charisma would be it anyway. All right. I mean, persu- I could do persu- I could do persuasion, uh, but that's not really what I'm trying to do. You know what I mean? Like, here's what just, he really just told him the truth. Here's what I'll accept. I will accept. Um, I think it's got to be persuasion. It's got to be. Yeah. That, that's like right. diplomacy. That's like yeah. That's, are they being are I, they being pers- are they, they being persuaded? Them. Yeah, you're, right. you're persuading them. Because they want to oh. know why oh, Riggle Shanks isn't here. I'm so afraid of this. Uh, role. Can I assist? Is that allowed? You can assist. Yeah, yeah, can yeah. Kaiser assist. <laughs> I believe the rules state that it gives you a plus two. Uh. I'm gonna need it. Is anybody on the? If I get, if I roll a ten or higher, right on a d20. I right. think so. Yeah. Kaboom! Yeah, oh my god! Oh. oh my god! All right, so hey. anyway, I give you the help. That anyway. is the best charisma roll I've had so, in how long we've been doing this? So that's eighteen total or <laughs> nineteen total. So, uh, Kaiser, I need you to say something along with that so that you can, you are actually helping. Uh, Geth is right. Riggler Shanks was a true companion and helped us in, in the time when we needed him and we wouldn't have been able to get here without his help. As uh, he says that, Jartek is going to say, For Riggle Shanks! And pour out some of the uh, flask. Damn. Yeah. And then uh, take a hit and pass it back to uh, Falcon Hook. Cool. <laughs> uh, go ahead and roll roll for me too, Larry. Oh, I want a well fucking played, beer today. I want a beer. Um, Real quick, I'm gonna also offer said flask. Oh, Larry, I think you just have to roll a d20, right, for the assist. I said persuasion, but whatever. Oh, okay. I just rolled a d20. I don't so know. So it was a d20 Probably anyway. Probably more than it would have been, Kaiser. I think it's a d20 oh, anyway. I took my charisma bonus. If I had, ro- oh, yeah, if I had rolled, yeah, we'll take away the two. My charisma bonus. Still, would you got over used, a ten. So. You got over a ten. We'll we'll take that. Okay. So. so um. So that's 17. Is it a plus two? I, I got to consult. Uh, assisting. Yeah. Sorry, folks. We, we are not that versed in rules. Lawyering. We usually just play. But this is, this is a pretty important one. 
Yeah. Well, we've um, been away for a while. We usually have well, guys... rule lowering in chat. Do oh, that. I know. Usually we do have a lose rules lowering. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, you know, to, to, to tell the truth, we're actually pretty good about rule lowering. Like, like we don't fuck up too much. Oh. Yes. Well, so, about, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to pass you the flask. You're gonna pass me the flask. I'm gonna pass you the flask. I'm gonna pass the flask around for okay. our for our fallen comrade. And courage for the battle to come. I'll take a sip from that flask and then pass it over to Geth. Be careful, it may burn, Tieflin. <laughs> uh, Geth raises his hand. Nothing burns me, dwarf man. Geth pauses dramatically. <laughs> you can lend your aid to another creature in completion and of a task when you... swipes the flask from Lucius' hands. Take the help action... Wait, swipes? I gave it to you, asshole. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, in this one... At least you didn't use your tongue. Yeah, in this one it gives, oh. it gives advantage. Okay. Ah, okay. Cool. Well, either yeah. way, either way. I think, so yeah, I'm, I think I'm in fine. fourth edition it right. gave you plus two or something. Roll. That matters. Yeah. That matters. All right. So. Oh God. We would take the seventeen. Okay. So, uh, you your speech stops everyone, rubble stump included, and uh, frackle chunk and sharp stuff. They they stand up. You know they're they're still here. And they say, "Yes, where is Regal Shanks? We did not <laughs> notice until now." And at that point, uh, it seems that you guys have lost some confidence in these guys. Um, they're not exactly ready to attack you, but they are definitely suspicious of your actions at this point. Okay. And they'd uh, say, and Red Scale is like, hmm, I may have been too hasty to think that these were the ones with Riggle Shanks. Who as, are you? As, uh, as he says that, uh, Jartek reaches up into the sky. Clan Geddon! Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> your son! Oh, no. And I, uh, summon my spirit axe. Oh wait, no! Oh, I was gonna. Ch <laughs> no, hold on. No, 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 yeah. This is what Riggleshank saw that made him follow us into the mire. That made him meet fate with his dragon god. He saw the power of Clan Geddon and this fiery axe that swipes down my foes. We have slaughtered many a bullywog to free your kind and to make this mire better. If you would turn on us now, I would turn Clan Geddon's might upon you. Believe us or not, but know that we come to aid you. And yeah. just lock, I, he just locks eyes with uh, Red Scale. Yeah. Woo. And as 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 he's speaking, I druid craft a gust of wind past Red, Red Scale's face. <laughs> To, put, to further emphasize the dramatics of what Jartek just yeah, said. You know, I, I'm kind of hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Um, give me, give me an intimidation roll, please. And uh, you can assist, Geth. Oh God, you so don't you, want me. To... Yeah, I'll give you assist. Hey, you don't even Ooh. have to roll. You just, you just say I'm assisting, Garbo. and it gives them. Oh, okay. Hey, don't fail me now. There you Holy go. Shit. Didn't even need it. Didn't even need it. All right, All so you people in your high charisma. What the fuck's that about? So Red Scale says, "Yes, yes." Briggleshank spoke highly of Clan Geddon, and some of us have even started to look into Clan Geddon ourselves. <laughs> and we do fear his might as much as maybe even more than Vorn Mangathar. Maybe not. Damn, Larry. <laughs> but, uh, so, he goes on to say, Red Scale goes on to, to explain, like, he's saying, you know, while 
you guys have convinced them pretty much to not turn you in. So the conversation's kind of going back and forth, and you guys, he's saying to you, just kind of do a little cut here to, to make this move along. He's saying, basically, you guys aren't going to get locked up upstairs into the jail cell. Uh, he is still counting on Dralmore to kind of make things right for the lizard folk, but he's not entirely sure that that'll even happen uh, because of the dynamics of the, the Cult of the Dragon. And he's not even really sure himself of Dralmor's intentions. So all he knows is that Farberlax Spattergoo, the, the Bullywug Shaman, is he this dude is probably the guy that started tanning hides of lizard folk and stringing them up outside. And they definitely don't like Farberlax. Uh, so at this point, he's kind of they're the lizard folk have taken a neutral stance. Uh, they're not going to turn you in. Uh, they're not, but they're not going to help you guys, and they're making that very clear now, because they're not. They're still unsure of where, you know. They 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 don't believe the story about Riggleshanks, but <laughs> they do respect and they do believe that you are got you guys are the ones that were with Riggleshanks because of Clan Geddon. Uh, those stories have definitely spread amongst the li li lizard folk. So, uh, so yeah, you know, Red Scale kind of leaves you guys. Frackle Chunk and uh, Sharp Stuff, they, he he's definitely agreeing, you know, yeah, yeah, well, Ra Frackle Chunk, Sharp Stuff, they're with you 100%. They believe you. Um, so, But the rest of Red Scale's group and his, uh, his elite guard, he says, sorry, guys, can't help you. Uh, so yeah, that that leaves you guys free to. Uh, he gives you kind of some of the the details on you know their guard guard routes when people wake up uh, that kind of thing right and when they're supposed to be on post where. Uh, so right now we're getting into probably almost about lunch hour. So that means people uh, would be heading towards the kitchen, which is in this direction over here so I'll take you quickly over there so he points out that you know that area he describes to you this area right here uh, that is the actual dining hall slash uh, place where cultist loot gets processed oh, um, oh. he's also pointed out a couple other areas for you uh, he says this place right next to us that's a bullywug den. We try to keep things down so that we don't uh, stir that nest of bullywugs. And um, he's also, he'll answer one more question of anything that you guys want to know. All right. Um, one second. Quickly, so, so that mm -hmm. this, is, this is Red Scale speaking? Yeah. Yeah, it's Red okay. Scale. Okay. So he hasn't left yet. All right. Yeah, no, he hasn't um, left. I want to make one last ditch effort to get through to him and potentially enlist the aid, his aid, as well as, you know, his, uh... All thousand lizard men? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what if I so, fought him to the death to, for control over his entire troop? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's see how like this goes. Dog. There are 20 double attack now. I'm not afraid of anything. There are 39 lizard folk, uh, including the guys that are in the armory that are smithing um, right now. I would love okay. to have an army like that. Um, <laughs> all right. So first off, this is Falconhoof 2.0, right? Yeah. So I'm bringing, <laughs> gonna bring a little bit, a little bit something different. Falcon who the F Ranger? Oh, fa Falcon who? Falcon who <laughs> the F Ranger? <laughs> a dead end. <laughs> it seems we're at a dead end right now. Uh, so I'm I'm going to approach Red Scale. Yep. And going to say, you know, we've spent a better part of a couple of months tracking these cultists up and down the Sword Coast. They've killed my family. They've nearly killed half of us. Hell, I think we actually might have died. And now. 
And what we've seen as we've followed them and tracked them up the Sword Coast is they've left nothing but a, a destruction in their wake. And that's what they're doing here. They don't, they don't care about you or your families, any of you. If you don't take a stand here with us, could you look at yourself? Could could you honestly say, would, would they? God, would they? Let me see here. They they wouldn't call themselves men. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, they call themselves men. Okay, they, they do. Could a man living in theater call himself a man? <laughs> They'll never take our freedom, right, Falcon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like brain hard. I fucking love this. Yeah. I like uh, it. Roll, roll me, roll me your uh, persuasion. This, this will be the last, be right last back. ditch Go effort. Back. Okay. But we've, we've got a couple fails. <laughs> My persuasion rolls have never been on point. Yeah. yeah they have always both. failed me. Just believe in the dice gods, dog. Yeah. <laughs> and don't forget, you do have your inspiration. Everybody's got inspiration right now. Mm -hmm. Persuasion and here it comes. Oh shit! Hey, hey, okay. Bad. All right. So, lizard <laughs> or red scale. He he's he's looking at you and he says, <sighs> Ranger. You make very good point. Red Scale and his elites will only join if you give me a sip of that flask. <laughs> <laughs> I throw the flask to Falcon Hoof. Yep, and I yeah I hand it to uh, I hand it to uh, Red Scale. And I say. Let's make the mayor great again. And It'll so, be beautiful. So yeah, he, he pours... He says, now we must do traditional lizard folk ritual. And and you guys know this ritual from Riggle Shanks. He's, he's done okay. this with you guys in the past. Not not like in-game, but yeah. While you guys, you know, while you guys are on the boats and he's, he pledged your you know his life to you guys, uh, you know this ritual. And so... The ritual is that each each person making the pact pours a little bit of alcohol into their like they cup it in their hand, right? And uh, so you pour it. Each person does it, and you cross arms in like one of those you know cool beer sharing things. <laughs> cool and, beer and, sharing things. Yeah, cool beer oh, sharing oh, things, oh, and oh, and oh, you oh, drink oh, from oh. your you drink from e each other's palm, and oh, uh, you say the the ritual. That, uh, you know, that Riggle Shanks taught, you know, he taught you. Say it, go ahead and you can, uh, Red Scale wants you to lead it, Falcon Hoof. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. Ah, you're going to put me back on the spot I yeah, for yeah. what I did to you. Okay, yeah, so this, this is... This whole situation could have gone real totally quick, south. Real, if you real quick, that role. so, um, <laughs> they just pulled this Falcon Hoof got real drunk. That's a really good quote. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so... <laughs> That's gorgeous. All right. Yeah. So, um, to explain again, real quick. Um, exactly. I was like reading the chat. Yeah, and, no, that's uh, fine. So I missed. So this this ritual is what exactly again? It, it's the it's the pack that lizard folk make, right? So they. Okay. It's, it's a sign of trust in one another, basically. Shit. So there's there's words that go with this ritual, and Riggle Riggle Shanks, Shanks taught you it. Yeah, he taught, he, us he, it. He taught, taught you all. Me, and I have to. Yes, yeah, I know. You, I know exactly <laughs> what you're doing. I yeah, love exactly this. what you're doing. I love it. Thank you, Carrie. Fucking yeah, yeah. finally. This is this is revenge. This is for after the karaoke. Folks, if you haven't this seen Harmon Quest, you got to see that shit, man. You got to just go I get the CISO account. Quest. Watch Harmon Quest. You get some well, great D and D stuff. Uh, yeah. well, not only that, but on, on in our other campaign, I made Carrie. I made Carrie. Oh yeah. Do stuff on the spot once. Oh my god, and I want to play Overwatch. <laughs> and yeah. ended up with him singing "Get Swifty" karaoke. Oh yeah. So. That's pretty um, sweet. Yeah, what well, during a bar fight, a giant bar fight. 
Oh yeah, it was pretty cool. <laughs> so uh, I'm really just buying myself time to try to figure this one out. My <laughs> yeah, that's oh, fine. That's yeah, fine. That's not obvious at all. <laughs> so, and then uh, so you know, Red Skill he yeah. he helps you get started. He's like, ah man, yeah I don't. I mean, it can't be like, that hard for somebody who used to scream fridge in the basement on stage <laughs> for fun. He's like, you know it, Wiggle Shanks talked to you, right? He's like, in in our tales, there's lots of fight. Go on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's happening? Something, something, Green Lantern's light. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. <laughs> In our tales, there's lots of fight. Oh god. <laughs> I'm drawing a fucking blank. Hold on. Uh you have it written down somewhere? Non note taken. No, he's making me ad lib it. No, it's an improv, oh, then, Larry. Yeah, it is yeah, it's totally no improv. <laughs> You're the only I mean you, it, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Who else knows it? You can help help fucking hoof out. <laughs> Maybe okay. maybe you should all just join in. So the beginning was in the like in our tales, <laughs> lots of fight. Yep. In our tales, there's lots of we'll fight. We'll rip and tear all through the night. Yes, yes, that's it, Jartek. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> we lizard can reserve the right. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> Lucis. He knows your name somehow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, said it, he said it wrong. Uh, we we kill and maim and give no ground, and when we we when we fight, we uh, <laughs> you, cool you and shit. Travis, man, yeah. <laughs> Hey, you... No, no, no! You were you, you were close. Uh, we kill and maim. Yes, and then uh, hold on. When we fight, uh, sh I lost it. Yeah, I had it. I lost it because I was going back through. And so uh, abysmal. And Red Scale says, "Yes, yes, it's exactly right. You got it." <laughs> and so he drinks I'm out of his palm. I'm glad I remembered. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, so yeah, that you, you guys make the deal, you seal it, and um, and basically they're not yours to command. But you know, if you guys, he says, if you guys are in trouble, uh, take this whistle, and um, our he and he hands it to Falconuff. He's like, our giant lizards will definitely hear. Wait, what? So he gives you this whistle? Oh, yeah, he's yeah. giving you a whistle. Oh, I will yeah. definitely hear the whistle. Okay. Yeah, he says the is it our like a giant horn or is it like a whistle or? No, it's like, like a it's like a dog whistle. whistle. Okay. Oh, so they can only hear the pitch. Yeah. Okay. He's like no one knows right. of this. It is it is it's a lizard folk secret. Okay. So so this is oh our boy is in chat and Triple D Johnny, man. Hellfish. Geez, we got some people showing up. Boy Hellfish. Our yeah, boy yeah. Hellfish. Incoming so, gifts. <laughs> incoming <laughs> gifts. Yeah. Dank memes incoming. So, um, thank you. So I, I thank Red Scale for their for their support, uh, and I just uh, so th this is like a this is a no shit button, right? This yeah, is it's a, it's a, a no shit button. button. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. So I'm I'm. Gonna securely put it in my pouch. <laughs> yep. Make sure that shit is tight. I ain't losing anything under the water to some walking fucking weed swamp thing, motherfucker. Again. Yeah. <laughs> and, and as that happens, you know, a bunch of these these lizard folks start to, you know, they they all chant the the amen, brother, to the uh, to the ritual chant, right? The the pact. Mm -hmm. And uh, they walk on out. Because it's it's dinner time. It's lunchtime, so, basically. In our tales, hold on, let's let's get this right. Let's get down. In our tales, we have much might. Is that what it was? There's lots of fight. Mm -hmm. Have There's lots lot. of fight. I thought fight. might was have lots of fight. Okay. Yep. 
Um, we kill and maim all night. No, no, we put something about partying through the night or something. There was, there was it's not partying. Rip, rip, yeah. rip and tear all through the night. Rip and tear, yeah. We lizard kin reserve one right. Yeah. Reserve one right. To, to something something in the ground. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to make. Reserve it one so right. We can say it later. <laughs> <laughs> Ground rubble, rubble. <laughs> Jesus. I I feel like the lizard men made this while they were too drunk. So by yeah, the time they, they got totally to the were. end, it just descends into gibberish. There were too many cool <laughs> beer sharing poses going on. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, you know, in, in red scale is like, we must go now. We if we are late to our post, we will be in. Who knows? With all the, the skinnings going on, we may be skins ourselves. So, yeah, his his crew that's in the immediate area mm -hmm. here, they all walk on out. And layer. There we go. There, I added the chant into the player's notes for all of us. Uh, nice. <laughs> God. <laughs> So, so deep inside, like Jartek is losing a little bit of racism that he's had for <laughs> lizard people, like over the years. Mm -hmm. So like deep inside, he's starting to think it's like, man, like lizard folk aren't that bad. Maybe I've misunderstood them. That, that's a good. Uh, maybe that's a good uh, position to have. So, so the uh, the other guys, these these dudes. So some of them have changed out with the guys inside of the. Uh, inside of the forge area and like they've been given strict orders to do not stop making crappy implements of of war because <laughs> they're not too good at it but they they're good making good yeah. pokey stick right so it's my favorite so these guys have been you know if there's That's if what she said if drowmore yeah. comes in and sees that there is no one working in there uh then there will be hell to pay basically so Frackle Chunk, he sticks with you, you know. Frackle Chunk and sar Sharp stuff. They're he, they're not they're staying by your side, and um, yeah, you guys are free to to kind of go. So just to recap, they gave you a couple areas, saying you know this area here. That's the Bullywug Nest. They said down here. This is the dining room slash uh, loot processing center. So yeah, you guys, you're, you're pretty much free to roam the castle at this point, um, to, unless you know you you run into something. I don't know, but uh, uh, is it just uh, is it still around lunchtime? Yeah, it's totally lunchtime. People have uh, you know they're they're piling into you know the the area the, the basically you know there's they're coming in shifts, and so just to kind of to keep moving things along. Um, we're going to just say, you know, a little bit of time has passed while you guys are kind of collecting yourself here. Uh, and lunch shifts are now done. So, you know, they gave you some specific advice. You know, definitely don't go during lunch shift. You'll get caught. Wait till that subsides. So we're going to we're gonna say it's about at that time now. And all of uh, Red Scale's troops are, you know, they're on their patrols. And, uh, you know, again, you hear this, this booming at the top of the castle. And it's Abra, you know, it's Asbara Joss again, and he is saying basically, you know, we have got to find and and root out these Riggleshank supporters. Um, and you know, they basically still don't know that you guys are actually alive, uh, but you know they believe that they definitely know that the Riggleshanks rumors are true because so it's called Shanks yeah. is the Luke Cage of Castle Naritar. He pretty much is. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, where what uh, would you guys like to do? Would you like to go places? What what 
it's up to you. There are staircases in, in the area here. They've kind of told you that, you know, that I area up it. there. Go ahead. Max, I, I have a plan. If we lock the bullywogs inside of their barracks, just block the door somehow, that could take a little pressure off of us later. And if we would like, we could always raid that loot processing room and see what we could find. Or we can head directly and try to take on the boss man. But we don't know how we'll have to leave this place. It's up to y'all. Extra loot can always provide for good things, because we don't we don't know what these cultists have stolen. They've raided a lot of innocent people. We don't know what artifacts of power they may have. Something of great Aye. sentiment or value could be. Could be locked away in there. Yeah. Uh, I, I say, say we, we go to kill, kill all the bullywogs that are chilling. I've got an idea. Right. I have an idea. Ah. So guess where is my coin? My token? God damn it! There it's it is. There. It's so tiny because the map's so big. Oh, I know. Just uh, zoom in a bit. Am I? It's cool if I walk out into the main room. Yeah. Uh, in the in the forge room. This room. Oh, into the courtyard. Uh, courtyard no, you, you, you peek through the thing and you, you know, like I said, you see people kind of going back to their posts. Bullywugs are going into the building that we pointed out. Uh, and you count about 12 of them. 12 Bullywugs, huh? <laughs> uh, Red Scale also mentions to you that um, in that in that hive of bullywugs, uh, the upper levels are saved for Farbalex and his elite crew. Oh, there's hmm. an upper level. Yeah. So just so you guys can put this in perspective, Castle Natar has in total four levels. So Red Scale kind of he he says you know talks a little bit about the basement. Mm -hmm. uh, he talks about the floor you guys are on, the upper floor, and in the top tier floor where where Big Boss Man is flying around giving orders. And this is the guy that was in the red robes that you guys saw before you went through the portal, the portal key into the if ethereal there, plane. If only there were some way to get through the. If only we, yeah, if only we had some way to get us to the ethereal plane. Hmm. Oh, weird. I feel like we probably could get there. <coughs> well, I, I, <coughs> what? <laughs> what? Don't we have that orb? Which orb? Wait, why are we going to the ethereal plane? The orb, the orb that sent us? Yeah, why are we going to the ethereal plane? Like, I'm question. confused now. What the fuck is happening? Never mind. <laughs> Thought someone said something about that, using it. No, uh, no, we, uh, we I can just that. go up there and beat some faces. I, yeah, All right. I, I say we go upstairs and handle these cultists, motherfuckers. All right. Do you guys want to go? I mean, let me just check real quick on this one thing. Uh, there's so many rooms. So many rooms. Yeah. Oh, they... So, Red Scale says... So he talks about how the upper, up above where you guys are right now is kind of the, uh, it's basically the jail cell. He says, whatever you do, do not go to the third floor of that. There is a trap door, but um, definitely don't go up there because guess what? There's giant spiders up there and you don't want to go up there. I don't want none of that. <laughs> I don't At know least about it's that. not giant mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the, wait. So I'm, so I'm confused. We don't want to go upstairs here. Yeah, just in this room that's above you, right? So there's three okay. floors. There's two floors above you. Uh, the one directly above you is the jail cell, and the one that's above that is kind of a secret passageway that only the lizard folk know about. 
but they haven't really mentioned it to any anyone else, and they know that they that that area is uh, guarded by giant spiders. Um, lizard folk haven't had any problems with them because they always take their pointy sticks, their pokey sticks, <laughs> and uh, you know they they're able to fend them off. But uh, it, they use it to try and it basically escape during the night and you know go see their families, things like that. Uh, okay. Maybe we should take the spiral staircase in the foundry here. Well, we don't want to get out. Get out of what? Well, because going upstairs takes us to the spiders, right? He said the room directly above us. But there's oh. another staircase down here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I was, I was already looking in that other room. Oh, um, may I suggest that we send the stealthy guy up to ta- to have a look? Oh, send the stealthy guy up. <laughs> sure. Okay, I'll go upstairs. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, fine. I'll go upstairs. Well, Guys, I mean, how you I'm t- gonna... Shut up, I'm role-playing. Guys, oh. I'm gonna go upstairs <laughs> and check it out. How rude. Stealthily. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, you go you go on upstairs. We can just theater the behind this. Um and it's Watch a your steps, lad. You you walk up the steps and you can feel the, the temperature increase because of the bellows that are in there. And it's super it's it's hot as hell up there. Uh and it's miserable. Nobody in their right mind would want to be up there. It's so, like Bahamut's shitting room in here. Yeah. Shit. And so you you look around and there's there's not really know. anything Dragon except for you don't know. Uh, basically it says um, you know there there's some some doors that looks like it goes into the room you know just like just like you see here on the first floor and uh, you see the trap door that basically uh, Red Scale was telling you about right so you you know that and you can see spider webs. Uh, on the ceiling up there, so so you pretty much have seen that this is a vacant room. Nobody's really using it. Uh, do I notice any doors to like anywhere else? Any exits out of the room? Uh, yeah, just the ones that go into like the the circular the, the spider chamber. closet. Yeah. Okay. yeah, there's the there's the trap door that goes up to the third right. That's the spider right. closet, and then you've got the. Uh, You've got the section that goes above there too, where it's uh, basically what they were saying. You know, that's that's like it's like the area where they keep a, a lot of the lizard folk uh, weapons, things like that. Okay. But it's it's pretty much useless stuff to you guys. All right. Well, uh, I will return back downstairs. To my companions and say, uh, "Listen, guys, there's nothing up there, up that way. We either go through the spiders to get to the cultists, or we find another way through the courtyard. But the courtyard is bustling, so." Uh, uh when we talked to the uh, lizard bro, did he uh, let us know if there were any other ways upstairs? Uh, not from where you guys are. So you're gonna have to basically gonna have to he's like yeah you would have to venture out and uh, he says tread carefully yeah there's plenty of other doors like if you look to the the west there's like or on the other side of the giant lizard jail there's yep. like and, and, yeah and there's there's here. a secondary courtyard back there um, that center okay. piece there's it looks like a like a hexagon right yeah um, that piece is the center part that's kind of you estimate that's kind of where the the booming voice was coming from, Asbara Joss, because uh, it's it's roughly where you guys saw him at the very top of the the steeple, right? Steeple for top of the, I guess, um, tower. Yep. It's a tower. The tower. Yeah. The okay. crenellated tower. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna peer I'm gonna peer through the doors into the courtyard. All right. So yeah, you you look out and you see that you know coast is clear. That you've counted the twelve bullywugs that went into the room uh, to the north of you. Uh, you see occultists go into the doors here. Let me, let me zoom you in over there. Yeah, you see you see occultists go into the doors there and, and shut. He's all by himself. 
uh, and he shuts the doors. And it it looked kind of when you saw him open the door, it looked kind of like dark, but you could see flickering of like candlelight in there. Hmm. I'm going to step through the door since the coast is clear. Yep, coast is clear. Uh, un- unbeknownst to my party, and just casually my- make my way to this cage. Oh. Um, yeah, you you look in and you see it packed with lizards, and uh, um, they're starting to get a little agitated as you approach them. I, yeah, I approach the cage. Uh, I cautiously reach within the cage. Yep. To touch the nearest giant lizard. All right. Um, do an acrobatics check for me. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yep. You so as you reach your hand in, the lizards become so agitated that one of them snaps at your hand. But mm-hmm. you are quick enough to pull your hand back out of the way oh just in time. Like, just, <laughs> just in time. Uh, uh, am I able to t- re- touch that lizard that has lunged at me now? Uh, yeah, yeah. They seem to have, like, you know, there's lots of rustling and everything that's going on. And, and as the, the bodies are shifting around, you, you lay your hand down on one of them as, you know, he slides on by. Yeah. All right, so you're going to speak with one of them. <laughs> what, what are you saying here to him? All right, so this might be a decent conversation. <sighs> Giants, what is your purpose in this place? And he instantly comes back and he says, We eat those that come in. Intruders? Yes. You serve the Bollywogs. We serve those that beat us. My friends, what if I were to free you in return for one fa- in return for a favor? That would be most pleasing. Me and my party, we could use your help against the ones that beat you. We would need you and your kin to serve us temporarily, but no harm will come to you from us. Yeah, so uh, he pretty much says he's down with that. Uh, Yeah, he's he's cool with it. Um, Make a perception, please. Uh, I, I'm gonna point out to the rest of the group. Uh, where where did Geth go? There we go. Wow. Let's run on uh, out. That's a great question. Holy shit. I don't know. So. All right. So perception. There we go. Yeah. You. you so his response is, yeah, sure, we'll do it. We want to get out of this cage. Uh, but you get you get a sense as your your minds are connected that he's not being entirely honest. Uh, and that, essentially, when he says those who beat us, he means all human-like or, or man-folk, right? <laughs> they don't really except, make a distinction between Bullywug and uh, Except we said we would folk. bring no harm to them, though. Yo, everyone yeah. <laughs> look at the stream and look at Kaiser's sport. Yeah, I'm a fatty. <laughs> Yo, no, what? no, no. <laughs> you got Crystal Maiden's boobs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I it's, just changed my picture, so it should be different. But no, no. Uh, it's, it's still there. It's, it's Crystal Maiden's boobs. Well, yeah. there you go. You're welcome. All right, so, <laughs> so if he's, you guaranteed more viewers. Oh, oh if he's, Carrie, he's, there are he's, boobs he's on the screen. Right Crystal Maiden, right there. If Carrie refreshes roll twenty, then it'll be a different picture. But oh, if yeah, he's gone up, I turned off my camera because I was tired of I'll restarting. I'll, I'll, like, re- I'll refresh. Yeah, we totally got a because of Crystal Maiden's boobs. Okay, um... Welcome, Maybe Crystal we Maiden's boobs. Our pictures. If he's come... If, the, if, if they've acknowledged me, uh... And I get that sense, then I will communicate to them, friends, I warn you. That's not much do better. Not, 
do not betray me and my party. That'll be something that you will regret. All right, and and with that, he I warn you. Do he not cuts. Betray. He yeah. cuts the. He says, "Go ahead and let us loose," and he cuts the the link between you two. All right. Uh oh. Oh, I'm ready for this. How many giant litters, lizards is Geth gonna kill today? Did anybody go outside with you, or is everybody yeah, still well, in? By the, the way, I, well, I, I we snuck just out entirely. Yeah. So I'm I'm the lizard guy next to me. By any chance, do you happen to see our large friend? Ah, uh, yes, oh, he ran on. out the doors. Let me finish <laughs> what I was doing before you realize I'm gone. Well, hold on. Oh, well, you think realize? It happened simultaneously. Yeah, it happened right? simultaneous. And, uh, it, yeah. and, and I'm gonna look back. They would have seen I'm the door if it happened simultaneously. At Jartek and Lucis with like this kind of oh shit look. <laughs> um, What's going on, lad? He left. Sorry, he left. And the, we're in a we're in an enemy castle. Oh. <laughs> so I'm going to look around. Yeah. <sighs> Never split the party. That's Too late. Not what was, that's <laughs> not what, that's <laughs> not what was happening. But if you guys want to come out, go ahead. Wait, no, no, Jeff, Jeff I you're not allowed to you. dictate this. You're not in the not near us. I'll let you, you guys go. Us. You guys oh, no, can. I, I will say, Shep, if, yeah. if we had walked out and you wanted to do something, you would do the same goddamn thing. You, oh yeah, yeah you do whatever you wanted. Well, I'm chaotic neutral, so yeah. No one says we're gonna stop you. We just like we're looking for you because yeah. you're off doing. So stuff this is happening there. simultaneously. You guys, yeah. uh, in this amount of time that stuff RP, is going on. I my RP. That's all. And in the amount of time Too that bad. this stuff is going on, you guys can go right. in this red square. So I'll let you guys there, and then you see him. At that point in time, you guys see him talking with these giant lizards. Are you opening the gate? Jeff? Yep. So, so you see him. Out, uh, yeah. Sorry. So you see him pulling open. Uh, here we go. That way we can get everything in view here. So you see Geth pulling open this. Uh, the gates to the giant lizard pen, right? Mm -hmm. And um, so out of that, what a in little, the uh, name? Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> arm myself at this point. <laughs> so Geth, you, it, shit is darting past you so fast mm -hmm. that you have like. It's it's just like lightning. These things are pouring out of the gates, and they start yeah. crawling on the walls. And you see some go up and over the walls, and they disappear from sight. Every last one of them. Oh, cool! So they sought no revenge whatsoever, just to go away. It could be a different type of revenge, <laughs> like a shadow <laughs> war now. <sighs> it's like Vietnam, dog. They're gonna be in the trees. <laughs> yeah, the li the those giant lizards hanging on a branch. I'd love to see that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, every last one of them runs out of the pen, and uh, you know they you get the sense of you get the smell of freedom freedom as they brush by. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's that's a smell. <laughs> All right. That little freedom musk. Yeah. Quite pungent. Mm, smells like victory. I'm gonna yeah. examine the room now that they've emptied it. Yeah, go go on in. Smells like Bigfoot's dick. <laughs> uh, Jartek is gonna walk up in his little box, his, his little prison box, um, kind of kind of mystified. What? What did he just do? So you guys can catch up now. Like all the chaos has has pretty much ended. Okay. Um. Jartek's gonna go down the cultist door. <laughs> it's quite a gambit. Do you pull there, Geth? I. The beasts betrayed me. They were meant to aid us, not flee like cowards. 
Well, at least we don't have to worry about the meat in our faces. Um, it was no concern of mine. Get rid of my uh, spirit axe, or can I get rid of it? Uh, yeah, you should oh, be able yeah, to. I can. Yep. Cool. Cool. Got rid of it. You should also be able to drag and drop that as well. All right. Okay, so, awesome. so Jartex going over to the doors. Uh, Geth is taking a look in the the uh, quote unquote stables. So Geth, you look around. I'll take care of Geth. What he's seeing first. Uh, basically, the entire enclosure is uh, empty at this point. You see piles of shit and uh, messed up hay all over the ground. Mm -hmm. um, basically, there's not too much other than what you would normally expect to be inside of a stable. Uh, in the corner, though, you see a ladder. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you see the ladder going up to what looks to be like an upper uh, kind of loft area um, uh, that's above the sta stables up there, right? Hmm. I'll examine the loft. All right, so you go up the you go up the ladder. Is anybody else going with him? Uh, yeah, I'll. Okay, so you and you and uh, Falcon have climb up the ladder, and you basically see uh, bundles of cut reeds that uh, are bedding used for bedding in the, you know, all the hay and, and reeds that you've seen on the floor. Uh, it looks like there's just bundles upon bundles up above here, and it's just a loft. Uh, there is a door that looks to go uh, in this direction here. Damn. Oh, yes. So you guys notice this and little... like It looks to be uh, like an iron door. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, you, you jiggle it, but it's definitely locked tight. Okay. Good hoof. Out of the rest of them, we breach this door. Wait, where did the door lead? It leads to the right uh, of the chamber that we're in on the map. Hey, right here? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's just the Bullywark barracks. Yep. But it's the floor above, I believe. Mm -hmm. we're that is correct. It was a two-story barrack. Oh, okay. So there's another... Um, yeah, so it's got two floors. I say... I... I think we might need uh, the help of our associates on this one. That's what I said. Oh, I thought I thought you said <laughs> you were going. You wanted to storm it without them. No, I was I like, no, gather, no. gather the rest. We breach this okay. door. <laughs> I thought you meant without the rest. Breach cool. the door. I was like, oh shit. No fucking way. Uh, I don't know, man. I got two attacks now. I got a weird spider bite. All right. Hmm. So, um, yeah, let's go meet up with. Uh, Let's go back down and end up back up with our other. Yeah, where's where's uh, where's Lucis in all this? I'm oh, here. Okay, you're with Jartek over there. Gotcha. I'm, yeah, I'm chilling with Jartek. Cool. Um, do you mind if we take a quick five? I need. I think I sorted my camera issue out, but I think I need to restart my computer. Uh, yeah, that's fine. fine. I need a drink myself. So because okay, uh, turns out Windows 10 breaks Logitech. Uh. Oh yeah, it does. cameras. It does. So I had to use RegEdit to like fix that, but oh, I have wow. to restart yeah. my computer. Oh, mine's not broken. That's so. Cool. Then maybe mine will work after this. Do you have the anniversary know. update ship? Yeah, I, I don't, don't think so. That's yeah. it. It's the anniversary update today because it, it messed with Pete's stuff too. Yeah, it, it, it messes with a lot of random shit, especially if you somehow made it to random Windows 10 without the random shit breaking. Yeah. Um. So I have to restart, but uh. Yeah, if you guys don't mind taking a quick break. Yeah, let's put up a little message. Everyone just hit the head. Um, yeah. I mind see we, we got some, some more people with us, so How's come gonna... into the chat, guys. Yes. Come chat with us. We'll be back very shortly. <clears throat> Here we go. You can throw some dank memes at us or oh, man, troll us. Memes. I love it when people troll us. That's the best. I've got a we'll be right back. <laughs> oh, look, there's Riggle Shanks up in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we got we have a we have a new 
new motto to uh, honor him by. Oh, yes, we do. So, all right. So, uh, guys, I just saw a few more join us. We are taking a quick five-minute break. Please hang around. Come and chat. You know, spout some dank memes or whatever you want to do. Dank right memes. Back. Dankest. I gotta load up the uh, me seeks with some more songs. <laughs> oh, and uh, Falcon Hoof, if you can hear, I love Falcon Hoof 2.0. Oh yeah, definitely super good. Yeah, right. Man, I really wish Roll20 didn't lose that API. Yeah, that has got a garbo. It made managing music way easier. I will say I'm 100 stoked, 100% uh, stoked about uh, Twitch Prime. Uh, what's what's all in that? I haven't really looked into it. So basically, it's like being a Twitch Pro. Uh, you get the ad-free uh, streams, a free subscription like uh, every month to a channel, um, and uh, they give you a bunch of shit. Like game stuff every month. And if you're an Amazon Prime member, it's just like an, an extra bonus because you don't have to do anything for it, you know? Nice. Yeah, because like personally, I'd never pay for pro because I can't, I can't, I can't bring myself to pay for like streaming, watching mm -hmm. streams. But I'll definitely take advantage of the features if I'm already paying for something else. Yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, and uh, Shep. Yo. Like, what parts of you do I have to fondle to get that copy of uh, Infinite Warfare, dog? I was about to. Below. You ain't got to tell nobody. I was about My to order them. Fine with it. I was about to order them tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I'll get you one. Hey, good looking, dog, for real. You're just getting PC, so it's not a big deal. <laughs> it's just PC. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they probably that's didn't. The, it's the easiest one to get. Oh, no, it is, yeah. Now, uh, now, do you think you can give me that Modern Warfare remaster too, or is that getting too crazy? Oh, that one's tough. We have to wait. We're getting a new store, mm -hmm. uh, uh, online store, instead of doing it through our studio. Yeah, okay, cool. I... Yeah, it's like, I, I, I think we've all learned good in, like, stream etiquette. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, what do you mean? By that? Just just not, like, dropping shit you shouldn't be saying in a stream, like hard yeah. personal shit or hard info about your company that people shouldn't <laughs> know. <laughs> yeah, I was telling Larry that we're waiting for our new company store to open. Can't get him a copy of the remastered until they do that. I do love shooting me some Call of Duty and remastered. Like every time I see a video, I'm like, "Durr!" <laughs> just, it just makes me want to kick in doors and <laughs> airplanes. Yeah, she looks good. Oh, Travis, they buffed Widowmaker. They increased your scope speed. Oh, That's good. Nice. She's dumpster tier, so she needed a buff. Yeah. 
you can't dash through Junkrat's traps either. Genji gets caught, because fuck Genji. Oh, so uh, they, they... Tracer gets they caught, too. Five. Yeah, it's a developer update video. Nice. Yeah, because uh, that I, I was looking forward to that patch because like uh, Genji did need to get grounded because they were getting a little cray cray. Yeah. Trap change is huge. Mm -hmm. Hello, friends. Hello. Hey. Yo, what up, pal? Sorry, I'm gonna oh, turn my camera back on. Dude, activation time on Junkrat's ultimate is also increased or slow or faster. That. Yay! More wheels coming at you. Well, less killed wheels. Uh, my command didn't work. That sucks. Um, let me know if my camera freezes again because I, I that that should have fixed it what I did, but it might not have. So don't forget to mute yourself. I did. He did. Yeah. Yeah. But let me know because you guys can see it before I do usually. Cool. If that didn't fix it, I'll turn the camera off again and just have my picture up there. But is oh it you God. or is it me? I, I don't. I can't tell if it's me it's or me. you. It's me. Okay. It's Kaiser. Well, Everyone sees it's, it. Yeah. It's my camera. I think. So, I see. I mean, Windows 10 anniversary update broke my camera, so I found a thing that fixes it, quote unquote, fixes it. Hopefully, that actually works. Cool. So, I had to do a registry edit, but. All right, let's get this thing back uh, on the rails here. They're going to buff uh, Symmetra because the community's complaining. Listen to that. Oh, weird. Community's complaining about games. <laughs> yeah, so, and Johnny, we're going to be even. We're going to be iterating on the on the overlay too, even mm -hmm. further, updating it. Oh, right, nice we're going to start. Get, we're, we got our we got our shit together this time, guys. Like I think having the two two campaigns, you know, and you know, uh, we just get. Me and Carrie are starting to get our shit together. We got we have the bot up and running, you know. Good so, stuff. Jartek, you're up you're up against this door, right? Yeah. All right. And what what are you doing exactly? Um, smoke weed every day. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, if possible, uh, Jartek kind of wants to put his uh foot up against it and like crick it open a little bit. Yeah, crick it. Oh, is it, yeah, make a crack? Yeah. To look no, into? make a crick. All right. Make a crick. Yeah, yeah. Make a yeah, crick. Yeah, make a crick. So you make a, a crick. crick. By a crick, do you mean a small <laughs> body of water? Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually going to pee through this little uh, no, don't crack do that. and make a, a crick. So, so <laughs> as you peer in, uh, Falconhoof and Geth walk up behind you. Um, I didn't walk up. I'm still at the door. Oh, you're still at which door? Falcon of, Upstairs? I mean, yeah, that's what he wants. Yeah, I oh, okay. asked Falcon have to, to gather the rest of the party. All right. Um, so as you peer in, Jartek, you see a cultist kneeling down. And he is... Uh, looks like he's praying to what appears to be a, a five-headed dragon statue that's kind of dominating the room in here. And there's candles kind of lit around him. And, uh, you know... It, this dude looks like he's in deep kind of meditation. Uh, but he looks to, from what you can see, he appears to be alone. And he, he has not noticed you. I want to, oh man. Okay, I I kind of let the crack close back up because I I noticed Falcon Hoof's presence. Yeah. Well, I feel a presence behind me. Jartek, what do you see? Is there some lone cultist in there, thinking we could incapacitate and interrogate him? But like just one? I. Man, we could take him out. I don't see the point of a, in a murder if we can't get information. I mean, <sighs> oh, uh, could I see the door to the other room when that crack opened? Oh, which one? The one down below? Yeah, the one uh, direct. Yeah, right here. Yeah, that guy there. Uh, I mean, I can see it. I'm not that even. Door is, that door is open. Larry's not just looking through the crack. Um, it's a little crack. Yeah, he's looking like, through the crack. It's a crick. Is it locked? He's looking through the crick. No, it's not locked. 
Okay. Not locked. No, it's open. Uh, that door looks to be shut. The the one that you can see. Okay. Well, anyway, I, I need to see what Falcon Hoof has. And where's where's Gap? Uh, uh, we found a door. Uh, a steel door uh, back there. He wants to storm it. I mean, Jartek found a door also. That's, I don't know. And, and from what you guys know, it's the door leading into where uh, Red Scale had said, you know, that's where Farblex and his elite guys basically bed up because it's hot up there. They like it. Uh, Jartek, what do you think? We can... I mean, Normally, I wouldn't be for this. But if we found a way to kill the elite, that would make a lot of difference to the rest of these uh, lack spirits around here. So are right, you suggesting we, of the heart. we go with Geth? I actually, I actually believe we should. It's a Is good idea. Crazy motherfucker does what he wants. <laughs> it always makes it better when you laugh through what you're saying. <laughs> it's because I have no confidence in you, Geth. It's my character. It's not me. You're frozen, but just leave it. I, Are you like, fucking North, kidding like, me? I just, le just leave it, dude. Just leave it. It's fine. At least we can see you. Yeah, yeah, right. it's yeah. fine. Yeah, <sighs> dude, it's whatever. Uh, I Jartek normally wouldn't be for this, but... It actually makes sense. Yeah, so you guys start to hear footsteps coming from uh, the in the chapel area, quote unquote. Um, you hear them s start to pitter and patter towards the door where you're standing. Uh, well, we're gonna murder this guy real quick. Uh, mm. So Jartek readies his weapon for when he comes out to give him. A I ready an uh, I ready an arrow. So yeah, he. This guy, uh, he opens up the door uh, to see you guys standing there, and he says, "What? What is this? What is the meaning of this?" And you guys all get an attack, or whatever you would okay. like to do. Yep. So yeah, he shuts the door after that. Boop. It's one of those doors on the hinges, right? Swings back shut. And, um, to what is this? I reply, your funeral. And I'm going to fire right in his face. <laughs> and Jartek uh, goes for his gut. Yeah. Go ahead and roll your, you guys, stuff. Oh, Jartek, you smash into his gut. And he, like, lurches forward and pukes on the ground. And as he's puking... <laughs> As he's wow. puking, he gets uh, pretty much decapitated by uh, Falcon Hoof's dead eye arrow and the explosive power. Um, and this dude is headless now with his blood just coating the ground. We just gotta follow! Uh, Jartek turns around and gives him the thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, so that, that that dude is dead beyond dead. Uh, What's but a fella got to do to get a head around here? <laughs> looks, looks like more than Geth can get it bloody, eh? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna uh, assume you guys are headed over to the uh, to the old <laughs> stables up here, right? Just yeah, just let's leave the butt. Can we at least toss the body into the the kobold area? Oh yeah, yeah. You guys want to do that? Yeah you, yeah, you shuffle them in there, and you you open the door, and the 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 lizard folk working on the forge are like, "What? Oh my god! We be skinned alive for this! Quick, throw him into the forge!" And they toss the body into the forge. Stop! Jesus, Jesus, Spurlock! Wow. <laughs> Wait, I can't. Is it already done? Oh yeah, he, he they threw him in quickly. They don't want to be seen with the dead cultists. You know. That 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 robe could have came in handy, dude. We, that, that doesn't work. We've tried. Yeah, how that, many like, how many more times are we gonna use that gag <laughs> with a barbarian? Uh, oh, just send send me or Lucasin alone. No, dog. It it 
It never <laughs> works. <laughs> it never <laughs> works. I'm only human. That might it work. Never works. Not with your charisma. I've I've given up on any type of disguises <laughs> <laughs> or stealth. Now disguises are fun. <laughs> I love disguises. <laughs> it's me, your friendly cultist buddy. All right. Remember that time we skinned the villagers alive together? <laughs> okay, so what? Jartek Jartek just arrived here. Yep. Yeah. So. What about the rest of the party? Yeah, is it, I think everybody's going, After right? After dumping the body, we're going to come meet up with Geth. Yeah. And once they start arriving, I just look at them strangely, start sniffing like Donald Trump at a presidential debate. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and, I say, <laughs> and I say, what happened? I smell, uh, you smell of cultist blood. Cultus had a bad time coming back from prayer. <laughs> from prayer? They, I don't <laughs> As I they don't all should. <laughs> well Indeed. done, my friend. Indeed. <laughs> oh, oh, man, I love Gallo of Humor. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm, st I'm still here in Discord. I just... My Chrome uh, fucked up, so... Have cool. you tried a different browser? Um... Browser. I have. have. It does the same thing. I think it's a okay. camera issue. I'm sorry, you guys. Dude, well, the guys problem. Don't want to siege it yet. That's why we are using Discord. Well, one of the reasons why we're using Discord. Yeah, it's good because I can keep listening to what's going on, yeah. even though my All right. roll twenty is fucked. Cool. So you guys are at this. There, it's it's an iron door. Appears to be mm -hmm. shut tightly. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's you know it's definitely not moving or budging at this point. But yeah, you can see the bales of, you know, the reeds that uh, are used for the bedding down below. And um, you're, you're pretty sure that this room goes into the area that Red Scale was uh, describing. So, Lucis, do you believe you could pick this lock? <laughs> uh, doors, doors. There's a, no such thing as a locked door when it comes to my sick skills. Uh... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I lost confidence there <laughs> while I was talking. Yeah. Uh, it's fine. I, we all, I think I we all have this lock. I believe if you guys, if you can find a way into this door. I do have proficiency with thieves tools. So. Yeah, so you take your proficiency bonus on, um, what is it? Pick lock. Uh, There's like something that's... I gotta look at There's your... a lock picking skill or something. I have to look it up. Yeah, I gotta look at your character. I'm Wait, I have a... Look. Actually, I could use my fucking... Uh, what is it? Thaumaturgy? Mage hand? Some, I could use one of my... Well, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah oh, have... no. That's an unlocked door. Sorry. Never mind. I was like, I can use my things to... I can use my mage hand to use thieves tools to pick locks at range. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you want to do that? I don't know if I should do that or just try to pick it myself. <laughs> I feel like it'd be Wait. more impressive if I used a spectral hand to do it. But... I'm looking at your skills real quick. Oh my Sorry. god, don't use a spectral hand. To pick <laughs> so what is um, it? It's sleight of hand, right? Um, that's what you would use. It, is it sleight of hand? I believe so. You tell me, buddy. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be... Oh, no, no. It would be... Yeah, is it that's sleight it. of hand? It's, it's, yeah. it's sleight of hand to pick a lock, yep. Cool. Okay, and I have proficiency, so I get a bonus, right? Yeah, so mark, make sure you mark... Uh, I think right now it sure says, no, you're not proficient, but you should probably have yeah, put... You mark that on your sheet. Yeah, just... Where? Yeah. Automatically give you your bonus. Oh, go to the skills. Yeah. Okay. And then look at sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. Yep. Bonus? Yep. Check it. You know, drop it down oh, and say bonus yes. No, uh, yeah. No, turn proficiency to yes. Yep, there you go. Wow, know, we've, we've made it this we made it this far without the rogue having any proficiency in sleight of hand. I don't think we've I picked have a lot of any locks, yeah, right? Never I don't even picked a lock. I haven't it's picked a lock. lock and through it. This is the first lock that's been I mean, picked. I have, 
I believe I may have picked a lock once. Okay, maybe there no. was one lock pick, but that's pretty amazing for a year no, of playing D&D. No, uh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I believe we I may have failed, and that door was immediately kicked in by someone. Let's be, was let's be real, though. The first half of the campaign, I was a different character. Yeah, so. that's true, too. Um, he's been a fake ass. <laughs> also, I want to point I, while we're talking about doors, yeah. I, I do recall a certain event happening with a door at a tavern. Oh, Jesus. I was winning that oh fight. God. I was winning oh that fight. Oh, my God. You guys turned me into a quitter. All right. I'm going to roll this. So I'm going to uh, break into an inn and murder folks because we were hungry. Yeah. yeah. Sorry yeah. So end up like Real quick, I see we have some more people joining us. I just want to say we're playing uh, Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. We are in the Tyranny of uh, Dragons. Yo, don't call them lurkers. Uh, and so... Anyone has any questions? Join us in chat. We can answer anything. Um, yeah, and if you keep typing, uh, typing, Nightbot will tell you shit too. Yeah, yeah Nightbot right. will tell you all kind of stuff about us, the history we've been doing. We've been playing this for like a year. I, it, I mean, exclamation point uh, quote or something? Yeah, it's uh, if you want any quotes, you do uh, exclamation five uh, e quote, just like this, so, and Nightbot will spit a quote at you. Oh, I need it. Which is usually pretty hot. Yeah, they're, they're pretty. They're random quotes. Like yeah. name pronunciation. Oh, Jesus, shut up. Come on. All kinds of stuff. So, so oh, Lucis, Jesus. you uh, you whip out your your thieves tools, and you get to work on this, this lock, which it seems, uh, for you, it's nothing out of the ordinary. It's a pretty pretty easy lock for you to pick. Boring so lock. You, take, you take your two thieves tools, you slide one in, and you pull it out, and as soon as that happens, you hear the click. And the door swings open. You see two bullywugs staring at the group. Uh, you guys are in a line, and I'm, we're, we have Lucis, looks like Jartek, Falconoff, and then Geth is at the rear. And uh, no, sorry, my uh, once he picks that lock, he's like, I was gonna say, uh, sorry, my mic died. Okay, go ahead. Okay, thank you, Lucis. I believe if you if you all if you, <laughs> I believe if you all approach from above cover the door and we can trap them in this prison. A pincher attack. I tore. I agree. Yeah, Shep, you need to lean back or something. Your picture on Twitch is Oh yeah, your head's cut off. <laughs> Just center your I, face, man. I, I can't see Twitch kind of died for me. For center some your face on Roll20 video. <laughs> just, uh, just tilt just your camera, camera up a just little. Tilt it just like up like one or two degrees. Well, yeah, yeah. Twitch died for me, it was, so I was like, what the fuck ever. Okay, there you go. How's that? That's perfect. There we go, I love it. Cool. Much better. So yeah, the you guys, um, you know, he picks the lock. So we're saying the door isn't open? Yeah, he picked the lock, but he didn't like. Yeah, he didn't swing it, it open. open. Okay, open yeah, it you got right. it. You got it. So, you know that there's two bullywugs on the other side. Uh, the doors, we'll say it's at a crack, uh, but you can kind of get the sense that you can see through the the door jam. You can see one bullywug in the corner there. You can see the other uh, across the way, and you can see. Um, you know that there's. Uh, I, th I believe we keep getting that sound. Oh, is that is that Meeseek saying he's done? I don't think so. I think that's our. Oh no, that's our. Uh, that's our role. That's our follower. We've got followers, but I don't oh, think welcome. it's showing up in our. Uh, oh no, Carrie's distracted by people supporting us. I know. Oh, this is damn terrible, it. Carrie! Please. Terrible. These <laughs> sounds. The alerts should be on the top, but anyway. Oh, that's because it's delayed in the stream. That's why. Yeah. So. Uh, I can actually say their names if you'd like me to. I just looked. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> okay. We uh, say thanks for following. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Thanks. For... So we got uh, Ska Studios, looks like, and uh, Can Hexa, the T Kumi. That's a hard one to get. So thanks, guys. Um, thanks for thanks for following, guys. Yeah. 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 Thank you. So yeah, you guys, you know that there's two bullywugs on the other side. They they appear to just be kind of chilling at the moment. Uh, one of the bullywugs, you notice 
the one that's in the crack, uh, they both are armed, and the one guy is holding uh, what looks to be like a horn made of crocodile bone. Oh. And, uh, yeah, it looks like the jaw of, like, a crocodile. And, it, and, it, and it's got, like, you know, this opening at the end that they've kind of fashioned. The, mm -hmm. um, the room is filled with, like, reed pallets. Uh, there's dirty baskets sitting around. There's uh, mud on the floor. There's shit on the floor. It doesn't smell good in there, that's for sure. Uh, there's a animal bones on the floor, and it's hot. It's, you know, the forge is heating that. It's like superheating. I don't know. It's like a hot shit. It's what you smell. Like hot dragon. It's like a dragon <laughs> shitting room. It's a dragon, like a shitting, dragon room. shitting room. <laughs> so, okay. exactly. so, yeah. All right. I, I, once we observe what's inside of there, I say to the group, wait. And then I smirk, say, you'll know. So I go back downstairs to, to the front door. Uh, who goes with Get? Oh, you're going in the I front door. I, well, I told you all to wait, and then I said I smirked and said, "You'll know." Okay. Oh yeah, man! So, so <laughs> all right, we got to split the group. Here I go, <laughs> kill <him> again. <laughs> so, Geth, you're going to this. Uh, you're going to this map. Yes. All right. And you're going to the front door. The rest of you, yes. you're still you're you're poised, and I guess you're waiting. Yeah, they're primed and ready. All right, so Geth is down there, and you go to the front doors. What What do you guys? What do you want to do? You so what I do? You saw twelve uh, woollywugs go into there. Yes, There's two upstairs. I, did. I absolutely did. <laughs> okay. All right, Jartex is gonna saddle up next to uh, Lucius. What up, dog? Yeah. Travis, get ready to play Overwatch because you're about to not have fun. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the inside <laughs> jokes. <laughs> Topical humor. Right. So I knock on the door just ominously with my my uh, pull <laughs> on. All right. On my screen, you so, are floating gong. in the middle of space. Gong. What, what is it with your character gong. here? Because I'm on a different floor. He's you on guys, a different I'm floor. Not, oh, yeah. okay. You guys can't see me. So you knock on the, f the door. Uh, this loud right. rapping of your uh, great... What do, you, what do you have, a halibird or a... You it's got a pole a arm. Yeah, you, you got glaive. your glaive. It, uh, it pounds on the door, and uh, inside, the door swings open, and you see 12 bullywugs looking at you with their wide, <laughs> creepy-ass eyes, and they are oh, completely... They're completely confused as to... What the hell is knocking at the door and who this person is? So let me, uh, we, we're gonna, here we go. <laughs> go ahead and roll initiative, people. Hold on, hold, 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 on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I'm yeah. Not, I'm not done. I've still caught them off. Well, well, you guys aren't in it yet. You're not in the initiative. You're upstairs yeah, waiting. Idiot. So, so I step into the room and they, I imagine they can just see my silhouette of this giant barbarian with a light cast in through the door. Yep. Here and we go. I whip out my tongue, and my tongue Whoa. is just fucking flailing wildly across my face. And I immediately charge at them with my glaive horizontal. Going for just a, a broad sweeping attack. Fucking an cross attempt, check? And a, yeah, an attempt to pin them all to the ground or throw them back. So I'm gonna. Can I use a. Can I roll something like strong arm, which is like strength based intimidation? Jartek, do you hear that sound? What the fuck? Yeah, you guys start to hear, there? you guys start to hear like a, uh, frogs croaking, uh, what sounds to be like uh, a really bad Cajun accent. <laughs> uh, <laughs> come on down there. <laughs> well, what the hell is going on down there? <laughs> hey now. Uh, I'll use inspiration too, if that since that didn't really hit. So, so you're. Oh. What is strong arm? This is an ability it's check. The it's skill. the intimidation that we made based oh, on based yeah, yeah, on yeah. Uh, strength in like strength situations like yeah. that. So you're using yeah. your inspiration, right? Yeah. Go ahead and uh, pull your card out. How do I pull that thing out? Yeah, oh, get like rid that. of that card. 
Lay it on How the do I table. get rid of it? You just drag it onto oh. the tabletop. Oh, then, dope. And cool. And I can uh, delete it wherever is, it is. That is good. Did you delete uh, it? Oops, I dragged mine out. My bad. I did it. I did it. It's it's gone for me. Okay, cool. You can Here, drag you it back on onto your. You can drag it back it's, on. I believe. It's not working. Oh, I'll just deal you one though. Too bad. No, no more. I'll I'll deal you one once we resolve this this little Jack thing here. I'm, I'm gonna actually Hi. take. Um, can I take the group? Oh yeah, I would have to drag. Uh, yeah, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drag uh, Beholder on over to so the stream can see what the heck's going on down here. So we take it here. So yeah, you burst into the door, right? And um, you're you're just kind of you're just basically like trying to throw people back. Is that what you're trying to do? Yeah, exactly. I'm trying to push the horde of them back. Yeah. With my glaive by rushing forward with some like momentum. Okay, so we're gonna take the 17 there. That's. Uh, mm -hmm. I want to open up a. Uh, I need a bully wug. Yeah. Yeah, bully wug for you. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> oh, that was uh, that was Larry, late please. Valentine. Forrest, thanks, man. Thanks. Oh damn, we got twenty-seven peeps in here. Yeah, Good let's keep Hello, it up, friends. Boys. Keep it up. Yeah, it yeah, it hit a spike, man, or the RP and got hot. Well, yeah. <laughs> all right, so um, it's getting weird. I'm gonna roll, <laughs> and we're gonna take some some averages here, cause this is what twelve bullywugs. Um, Nightbot, get ready for another moment. So uh, as uh, I as Jartek hears like that last boom on the door, awesome, and yeah. Lucius whispers in his ear. He's gonna go to kick the door, and I'll leave it there so you can resolve whatever you gotta resolve. So yeah, they they um, you push back like all but like one or two of them. They kind of hold their ground, and and they get pushed back like you know ten feet or so as you charge in. The one stands, he stands fast, right? Mm -hmm. But I think that makes them leave your. So that would be an, atta an attack of opportunity for you uh, times whatever you've got, right? <laughs> As you just... And they knock back by, like, bowling pins. You guys hear this scuffle downstairs. Uh, frogs are croaking, and, and people you, uh. you catch, like, hints of, like, what the... F you know, like, what the fuck? What is going on? Uh, oh, Falcon, boy, enough, should going we, on? Falcon, should we maybe go upstairs? This <laughs> sounds fucked up. And I, I think y'all are upstairs. We are yeah, upstairs. You, guys you guys are upstairs. Are. <laughs> <laughs> I think Lucis is fucked up. <laughs> yeah. I'm not upstairs on my screen. Oh, you're downstairs? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he yeah. is. Yeah, I can see him. Because you rejoined, that's why. <laughs> With yeah, that's right. Hold on, hold on. Screen. Yeah, so, like... Sorry, I mean, I'm paying attention, but I didn't know I had changed floors. Yes, sorry. No, we Wait, thought yeah, you, you were, weren't. Wait, oh, you yeah. were upstairs unlocking the door. Yeah, no, there, no, there, I there, everyone's the upstairs. Door. But then oh, guess that he's on a different floor, so I don't know what. I went to a different doing. floor. Yeah, yes. Gotcha, yeah, gotcha. yeah. Guess on a different floor. Like, the three of us yeah. are together. There is oh, in the front. Okay. You're behind him. I'm in the back. Yeah, I, 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 I have an arrow knocked and ready to go. So you guys see and the, just... you guys see the bullywugs as this commotion's going on downstairs. Uh, Geth, I'm gonna need you to start rolling your opportunity attacks. Uh, All you right. Do do it. Yeah, do ten of them. We'll say ten. We'll go from left to right. Yeah, I might left as well. Left to right. But yeah, you guys upstairs, you start to see in the cracks, like, these bullywugs are leaving their stations to go see what the hell's going on downstairs. And, and you hear the one that was closest to the door. He's like, God damn it. There ain't supposed to be anybody in here. Holy shit. So we're, yeah, look at these rolls. Oh we're saying, God. holy shit. One, two, happening? three, uh, four, five. You get 12 opportunity Six, attacks? What is going on? Seven. I, uh, so I count seven. Seven are going to hit. And, oh, uh, shit. yeah, as you just push them, if you push them out of the way, you know, 
we're not going to calculate all these. Uh, we'll maybe take your crit there, and uh, we'll say... I'll let yeah. you pick whatever you want to do with yeah, them. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. We're, I'm just going to kind of put an average just to kind of speed things along. Yep. But, uh, you know, you you knock them away, and as they all leave your, your area that you are close to, you just swipe with the, the glaive as they leave and follow up and hit a couple in the face, uh, doing, you know, visible damage to all of these bullywugs. And one of them you actually catch right in the heart, and he goes down, and he's dead. Oh. Uh, the, but the one, he, he was, you know, he stands fast, and he is, he's right there next to you, uh, ready to, ready to go. So we'll take that as your move. And we'll we'll get back to the bullywug's turn. So, okay. um, so yeah, let's 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 cut up to. I'll I'll, I'll resolve all that shit. But mm -hmm. uh, let's cut to upstairs. So you yep. guys hear I, the guys? I'm gonna tap on Jartek's uh, shoulder. And say, I believe that's our cue. Uh, and immediately, Jartek, <laughs> uh, kicks oh, Falcon Tukun is the best. And goes to swing a cantrip <laughs> at the uh, the horned bollywog if possible. Yeah, this guy right here, right? Yeah, whichever one's holding the horn. This guy right here, you see his horn flapping, and it's bouncing off of his ass as he's walking <laughs> to go see what the hell's up. Yeah, so let me roll that real quick, Mike. Falcon is ready to fire, anyways. Yeah. I didn't actually ready the action, so it's a little late now, but... Oh, I thought you did. No, I was just saying that as an indicator of, like, let's get in there, you know? Yep. He's it's ready for something. action, but he wasn't ready to do that action. <laughs> <laughs> if that action, mean. though. If you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, it looks yeah. like most of your... We'll say, we'll give everybody, you know, seven damage. We'll just kind of even that out. So seven damage to all those bullywugs that you just knocked to the side. Sounds good to me, dude. Uh, they're, yeah. they're on the ground clutching at, you know, wounds, and uh, and they're croaking and making all kinds of noise. Uh, but, yeah, it, they're not too happy. So I'm going on back to... Uh, I got too many pages. This gets weird when we split the party. <laughs> All right, Get so over, Kay. just try and kill us this time. So sacred flame versus dexterity. Let's roll it. All right, what do we got? Yeah, beat that oh my god! So we just—I just rolled a fail. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. so uh, you and you basically, you know. It, he would get disadvantage on it because you guys are surprising him from the from behind. Mm -hmm. uh, the you know the flame lets loose from your you know your fingertips whatever your your holy symbol right and uh you know it, it lets loose and it it just hits him like a hammer and in fact it, the flame goes into the shape of clan geddon's hammer and just knocks him to the ground uh so yeah we're gonna say he's on the ground let's do this uh Add a little token here to say his back is broken. Oh, Not really no. broken, but he, he he gets hit. He's on the ground, right? You guys. Yo, get the I've idea. been there. That shit's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't want to do that yes. to anything. So go ahead and add your yes, guys. Yes. Add yourselves to the. Uh, go ahead and add yourselves to some of the uh, to the turn order. Roll your initiatives. Yes. Oh, um, I see we have we have Pete with us. In oh, Pete. What up, Pete? In chat. What up? What up, casual twenty roll? Up, like, up, up. Damn baller! Whoa! Damn, Pete. Pete's gonna make uh, multi-page management much better. He's gonna program it for you. Heck yeah! Oh, Yo, Pete, I, I I told him a couple days ago. I'm like, roll twenty is just gonna hire you. I know. Yeah, like, I know. Might as well. <laughs> you, he's he. Might as well, Pete. They're on the up. They're on the up. For our campaign, my God, it has made it twenty times easier. Mm-hmm. Not gonna. If I'm rolling initiative for you. Okay. Oh no. Go ahead. Your, your programming right. demo. Room. Uh, let's do descending, right? All right, here I we go. The seven that I had from before. My God, here we go. So, Lucis, you're up first, my 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 friend. 
you got a bullywug on the ground. <laughs> and um, so that was our surprise round. So we'll wait, say the dude with the Sonic the Hedgehog symbol is on the ground. Yep, he's, he's <laughs> yeah, got the broken he, back he symbol. Put a horn bearer. Yeah, he's oh, he's the I'm, not, I'm definitely not hitting that guy because he's got a broken back. And that's Kaiser in the rice patty. I got too much empathy for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> You should put him out of his misery, dog. Yeah, because uh, you know. Let me tell worry, you, I'll do that. I wish I had someone to do that to me when Bro, I was. Bro, if I was in oh Japan, I'd put you down. I swear to God. You're about. Oh. I swear to God, I would have. You're about right. thirty feet away from him right now. That's plenty of room. Plenty of room. Old Faithful has a range of 120. So. Old Faithful, huh? Mike. Yep. <laughs> Old Faithful. All right, fuck it. I'll that. put him out of his misery. Yolo. <laughs> Pop. Crit! <laughs> oh, my God. oh my I did God. 19 damage! Yeah, so you... Oh. You, uh... I had an additional 15 damage. Jesus, man. You target... You target the, uh... So, as you let loose with your fingertips, the firebolt shoots out, and it, uh... It actually hits the tip of the horn, makes it tilt, and... It enhances the blast as it like comes out of the horn. Is it like a laser? <laughs> yeah, it's just like it transforms this and just obliterates this this bullywug. The other guy turns around and is in horror. Uh, he he just pukes at the sight of this <laughs> and is like, "Oh my god!" But yeah, the, the the horn explodes. The uh, the bullywug is you know incinerated to a crisp and uh he is we done for so it, horn blower goodbye goodbye uh you never uh, had a chance the of, that's the end of my turn <laughs> what, do you want any movement no movement no i don't need to move right <laughs> <laughs> i just need I just, to pose i just laser beam that guy's face off like we're good yeah all right so that takes us to geth well, let's go on back downstairs let's uh let's move the Move the people on over. On my initiative, I only see Falconuff and Jartek and myself. Oh, weird. I, yes. I have the same. That's correct. Oh, because you're downstairs. That's why. Okay. Yep. Or you're upstairs and he's downstairs. Yeah, I, I rolled a 17 on my initiative. Yeah. All right, Geth, you got the one guy next to you. you you've slain one. You've hurt a bunch. What, uh, All what, right. what do you got? What Geth does... Ah, is he forgets what he does? <laughs> nah. <laughs> in rage, dog. It's hard. Yep, there it is. Yeah, it's all there shit. It. <laughs> like, and I go right at the first guy right in front of me that I did not maim. Yep, he he stood his ground, right? Yep. Well, let's see how long he's standing on that ground after this. Oh God, here we go. Plus Hello, two to all attack. damage rolls. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. You go to fucking town on this thing and slice and dice. Uh, and it's two additional on top of all of these, right? Yeah, the ones at 16 yeah. at least. For whatever reason, you've you've chopped him into so many bits that your your uh, follow-up attack wasn't able to miss it wasn't able to hit one of the <laughs> flying bits of bullywug that is there. The other bullywugs look in horror. And uh, one of them climbs up and is like, he claps his hands together like five times in rac rapid succession. And he's like, he's like, call, call all the lizards. We need the giant lizards now. Somebody get out there. <laughs> and so. Like he, he was, was born, born in Louisiana. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, you know, what, bad, that's, that's, whole, yeah, that's what they are. That's the bugs. Oh, yeah, I guess and that's, so. It's my favorite thing, too, because yeah, they got, they got, Zatarans, like, they got Zatarans and everything. Yeah, they love to put, they love to cook <laughs> jambalaya. They got gumbo. Uh, no, I it, like gumbo. It definitely smells like gumbo in this place, that's for sure. I actually love oh, gumbo. Oh, wow. You need to slow your roll. <laughs> yeah, gumbo is delicious. You know what? Uh, gumbo yeah, is no, delicious. Okay. And I was born in Louisiana, so... Yeah. Yeah, Harry's from Louisiana. Like that's why. That's why okay. he does the whole. thing. Listen, okay. it's okay. I can make. I can make fun of myself. Because like his dad <laughs> right. had. That's weird, man. My bad. Harry's yeah, yeah. dad has these characters. These like that he does. They're like these Creole guys, and it's <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Uh, it, I, we have our one. Our one guy. Uh, the one 
one dude that we've been friends with since uh, we moved down to Louisiana. Uh, they live in Texas now, but uh, that dude is is actually Cajun. Like he's 100% Cajun, and he cooked his gumbo, man. That shit was so good. Yo, I love gumbo. Yeah. All right. So after my attack, I I step ominously into the group of them. All right, so you're stepping right on in. Um, mm -hmm. You're in the midst of all of them. That one guy's dead. Yep, he's he's done for. I like because these guys can't really they don't they kind of hear what's going on, but they don't yeah. know exactly what's going on. Well, Geth is covered in a fine blood mist while yeah. being surrounded <laughs> by what is left of twelve eight. Yo, yo, get though. You didn't just see this lava beam I cast on this <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> lava beam. <laughs> so yeah, we're switching back up to the top. We've got Falcon Hoof. Okay. So this guy's done for. This There's guy's just one frog yeah. still around. Um, you and this has case. he been damaged at all, Carrie? Uh, other than getting puke on his feet, no. Yeah, he's like <laughs> he got a little bummed out by his buddy so getting murdered. Getting murked. Yeah. Like, he's right. gonna have PTSD after this, like, no joke. If he survives. I basically lasiked his fucking face. Oh! There. Damn. <laughs> that was a poor <laughs> crit fail damage. I mean, I mean, it was a high roll, terrible. I'm right on the money, just. Good roll, crit fail damage. No, do you not remember two attacks? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I can attack. As well. I mean, also, you, you, you uh, totally you hit. Bro. Seems like get explosive arrows or something, so... Yeah, that's... that's okay, the... so carry. The first will do five, yep. and the second will do fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Goodbye, Frogman. Yeah, so you, your first one catches him in the leg, and he he bends over to, to kind of so look I at it and an grab adventurer. at it. And uh, he, he wants to pull the arrow out mid-pull... The, the second one catches him right in the brain, and the, the explosive force of the magic of the arrow that's infused into it just splatters his brains across the, uh, the filthy floor that's here. Uh, so that's, that, yeah, you, you guys are making quick work of these bullywugs. And, uh, man, if I could just get a magnitude pop, pop. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that takes us to the bullywugs that are downstairs. Um, oh yeah. So I'm heading on over there. So you guys hear a bunch yeah. of commotion downstairs, a <laughs> bunch of yelling and screaming. I'm uh, glad you have damage resistance though, because uh, bunch of just bunch of liquid down there, bunch of liquid being thrown all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, the 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 team so is covered in bodily upstairs. fluids of. Yeah. <laughs> so this bullywug, he leaps and uh, bounds out the door, <laughs> and uh, he's he's going which, to look. Which one? This guy that Good just luck, moved. Oh, there's no way he doesn't get hit. Well, what's the distance? Let's see. Like ten, yeah, I definitely hit that guy. Well, listen, he he ten. bounds out of the way. He sees Fuck that guy. He's getting fucked he, up. He got used to what your your he range did. was, and he moves <laughs> on out. He he jumps on out the door. So uh, that dude is his his uh, turn is done. Well, the point was that they don't escape. Well, yeah, he he you know he's pretty good and he's quick on this uh, floor. So nobody's really moved uh, past their. Uh, Fuck enough. Did you move? No, I stayed where I was. Okay, uh, so nobody's really moved, uh, but if you 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 know that you're not you're not the best on this flooring, but the bullywugs seem at home in this slick slick mud mud and shit covered floor, right? So <laughs> if you're gonna keep this massacre up, uh, Johnny Johnny's got some cool decent words there for us. <laughs> so the rest uh, they start to pile in around you, right? And they're like, "Come on, let's get them." <laughs> Come on, meow. Come on, Come on, meow. <laughs> Come on, meow. <laughs> you got a pretty mouth. <laughs> so yeah, they're piling in. Uh, let's see here. And with each one that piles in, they're going to... Uh, they're using a bite and a spear. 
So the first one is a seven versus your AC. Nope. Good luck. Nice. I gotta get at least a fourteen. I don't, I don't need it. Second. I don't need it. He definitely hits you. He's doing five oh. damage with his bite. And, and then you take half, right? Yeah. Well, the bite yeah. hits and it does like. Hold on one sec. Half of five. Is it? What didn't? Wasn't it supposed to be two? Half of five. That's two and a half, buddy. Wasn't it supposed to be two? It favors the it favors the player. I thought. I didn't think it did, but oh, that's, that's a, a DM, DM call. call. That's, that's a DM, DM call. call. I think there's a rule on it for legit. It's, We've had this definitely before. Definitely in the book. For what? Yeah. I'm sorry. What was it? Uh, half half of five is is half of five is two because it favors the player. Isn't that right? Uh, give me one sec. I think we round up. Pretty Favors sure we round player, up. It rounds up. Hold on, hold on. Look at it. Yeah, I, I believe it rounds up, but let me make sure. Yep. I mean, that's Carrie's call, Carrie's right? call, right? So favors I DM. Mean, it actually says in the book, unless you want to make a separate ruling on it. No, it says in the book. Oh, and of course, Acrobat decides to crash on me. Sick. Oh, I'm sorry. I default. I default to Carrie's uh, decision. Yeah, yeah. I, it rounds up. We're gonna see it rounds up. So. Uh, the first dude that, that swings at you, right? It's He bites, and then uh, he hits with that bite, so we're going to say three damage from that. And then he jabs with the spear. He oh. misses. Second one jumps on in, and he, uh, he bites at you, hits you for two damage, which I'm, I'm calculating in the half damage. So... Keep track of, mm -hmm. of this for me, please. I'm ticking down currently as we go. Okay, cool. Uh, he jabs with his spear and lands. That's another three damage. The next one, this guy right here, he he piles in. And he's going to bite at you, but he misses with his bite. He also misses with his spear. Uh, this one, the next one. Let's see here. Jumps in with his bite, misses. Tries to jab at you with his spear, he misses. And we got one more guy here. He's gonna hit with both his bite and his spear. So that's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So half of that, we're looking at five damage. All right. So that's those. Uh, the ones in the back. They kind of pile in in the back, and they're going to do uh, spear attacks on you. They, they're not close enough for bites. They get hit, though. Were they too? Were they far out of your your range? Once they get with once they get within yeah ten, which was that. So do three. Is, what three of them? Yeah, yeah, go do three. Oh my god. No, it's all garbage. So the one hits. So you you, you manage to take out one. That's it. We'll say this guy in the back here. Mm -hmm. yeah. The one trying to get, get to you in the back. You, you get him. Uh, so let me do the spears for these dudes. Uh, yep, that one's going to hit nine, which half of nine is going to be uh, five. Rounding up. And one last bite, or I'm sorry, one last spear, which critically fails. Noise. So... That takes us to Jartek. Jartek, you're upstairs. You hear this crazy commotion going on downstairs. You hear people being slain, or frogs being slain. Uh, what would you? And as you look into the room, uh, you see, you know, the mats on the floor. In the corner over here is a chest and a couple of barrels. Okay. Uh, Jartek stores that in his mind's eye and charges uh, as far as he can to the stairs. All right, half speed, because it's slippery as hell up here. Yeah. Yeah. So let me measure that. Well, 30 feet. Oh, 15 feet is no, what you can move, right? Oh, uh, you're not mm -hmm. dead. No, 20 feet. 20 feet, yep. Yeah. You got some extra movement at 6. No, no, it's just I, I, I move. I, I just move 20. I, I move... Uh, 40? What is it? 
Oh, no, I moved 30, so I have 15. So 30. 15. No, yeah. you actually moved. Move, so I'd be 30 total. You actually moved 25. Oh, yeah. 25. Okay, yeah. so it'd be what? 10, 12? Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna, are you going to try and. You're going to run it? You're going to double time it? Dash? That's what I'm thinking, but. I was going to dash on my turn, too, so. If I know I'm half speed, I'm probably actually just going to go downstairs and run in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you can go 50 feet. Um, we'll say that gets you... If you're going down the ladder, right? Yeah. All right, I'm just so... going to jump down. Oh, okay, yeah, you you can jump down. Let's, uh... Give me, give, me an acro- give me an acrobatics, yeah. That's fair. Oh, he's gonna tumble down the stairs in a minute. You're like a boss. <laughs> yeah, it is a boss. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so my god. you're gonna use that I'm inspiration? Spend my inspiration. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. So you. Uh, oh, I wish you wouldn't have. Well, I wish nope. you wouldn't have. So, nope. <laughs> so you jump down. Both of your legs are broken. Like, <laughs> no fool. Yeah. Go ahead and spend your card there for me, and uh, you jump I'm down. To, but it won't let me. Just you click, can drag oh, click it. it and you drag it out of the box. Click it and then drag it out. Yep. Oh, gotcha. There you go. And then you can delete it after that. The seven of clubs. <laughs> I'm trying to delete it. Oh, oh wrong, you're, you're using tool. the measure tool. Wrong tool. Yeah. There we go. Oh, I stole your card. Nice. So, so I'm gonna put you onto that that screen. And um, we'll say you can get like to about the corner over here, uh, jumping all, like, right about here, right? Yeah, that works. Cool. All right, Lucis. You notice the floor is also slick. Oh. And you you see Jartek jumping down and landing safely into a nice pile of hay. I'm following Jartek's lead. All right, acrobatics, please. Oh, uh, rip. Rip. Just kidding. Uh, oh, yeah. No, you're a bit you you uh, jump better. down, and um, as, you're, as you're jumping down, you notice that your trajectory is, is headed straight for a pile of, of uh, lizard shit. And mm-hmm. right at the last moment, you, you split your legs so that you do not step in it. No big deal. <laughs> yeah, worried and about you're, it. you're now right behind Jartek here. Actually, Sweet. you're a little bit ahead of him because you can move a little faster. We did yep. it. And stubby legs, man. Like, we'll say, I'm, we'll say here, but I'll, I'll move you to the page. I'm still I realize on the second you're in, floor on my screen. Yeah, yeah there you go. This. So we'll say you're like right in this this area here, right? Okay. I got a really good center of gravity. <laughs> I did a sweet flip though on my way down. You got your token? Nope. Oh, why aren't you oh, on here? Oh, there it is. Found it. Just kidding. Here it is. Cool. Yep. All right. So that takes. Are they outside? Are they? Are they outside the room? Uh, one is. So yeah, you guys are staring down at a at a bullywug. That's he, what I was gonna say. Yeah. He is. Uh, he doesn't know what to do. He looks back and forth, <laughs> and he doesn't see anyone here. And he's like, "Where? Where are those damn? Where are the damn?" Lizard folk, they're supposed to be keeping watch. Mm. I'm gonna have to go beat some and maybe skin one. If you come close, I'll tell your friend. Wait, do I also <laughs> get an do I also get an attack because I know I you did double did moves. Oh, uh, I did double. Mm-hmm. Moves. double moves Wait, jumping down the ladder was double moves. Jump the to distance move that he travels. Distance? Yeah. Yeah. Distance. Could we have to move all the way to the ladder? Yeah. Down the ladder. Uh, carry. Yeah. I'm going to move down the stairs as well. Okay, go ahead. Let's let, let's just get everybody on to the same page here. Don't fuck it up. And I'm dragging everybody into the player ribbon. Wait, he doesn't have a roll? Jump, yeah, he's got a roll. He's totally got a roll. Don't break your legs, Travis. It is Geth's oh, turn, God. though. So we'll, we'll just finish up Geth, uh, Falconoff's turn here. But Geth, you're, you're going kind of at the same time. Go ahead. All right. So you I got a ton of boots, ton of dudes what? around you. You did not. Ooh, crit Wait. damage. 
Maybe oh my god. Son. Yeah, I, I was thinking about that myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> I um, used my inspiration to make a very acrobatic leap. Okay. You fell down the pit and died. <laughs> yeah, you you do the same thing as uh, as Lucius. You you know you were headed for what looked to be you know pure disaster for your boots, but nope, you you were able to circumvent that and make make a good good landing there, right into a nice soft pa pile of hay. Wait, so that card, dog. So Geth, you uh, target two of these guys. So yeah, well, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do. Yeah, you got it. So exactly, I'm gonna target the guy that's directly. Like the that's most behind me. Uh huh. This guy right here. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. With the glaive attacks. Okay. And then my tongue is going to thrust from my mouth around the neck of the guy that's for, like right behind him. Uh huh. So. Wrap around his neck and then rip back with a razor-like motion. All right. So yeah, you you take. From from behind, you kind of jab with the the pointy end of your glaive, and you jab another time, and and just rip up and open this uh, bullywug open. He's like, he has no more life left in him as his guts spill onto the floor. Uh, your tongue lashes back. All of the all of the bullywugs are like, "Wow, I can't <laughs> believe that! <laughs> all these human folk has got a tongue like us." And uh, they see it wrap around his neck uh, with ease as it, uh, you know, it, it's, it just starts kind of razor wiring and, and, it, and it's grinding into his neck. Uh, no problem. So he, this dude is just barely, well, you've already done damage to him. So yeah, his, Seven, yeah. his head, <laughs> his head pops off. We'll just say that. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and you get yes. the taste of bullywug, uh, you get the sensation of taste of blood that you haven't tasted in a in a long time. <laughs> wow, well, no. Other than True. whenever you, uh, I think you drank blood whenever you had the totem, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. So Did yeah. Did he drink Miende's blood too? I, th blood blood? <laughs> I think so. Oh, he drank that too himself. Drank Miende's blood as well, I believe. I I drew my shimmering gold tattoo out of your scales. All right, so the bullywugs, they are back up and. Um, you know they're they're gonna do the same things like they're they're shuffling around. We need to clean up the floor here. Let's get some of these out of the way. Uh, no, I want them to walk in on that. Yeah. Well, they're <laughs> walking on top of bodies, but you know this guy's getting closer to you, but it doesn't get into your range. Everybody's doing a biting uh, spear to you. So first here guy we go again uh, misses with his bite, but hits with his attack. Cause you're yeah you're 14 AC. Is that right? Armor is 14 AC, yes. Yep. Okay, so he, he misses with his bite, but he jabs with his spear, and uh, you know, you take four damage from that. Next up, we're just going around the circle in a clockwise motion here. Mm hmm. Uh, bite misses. The spear misses. So this guy just totally, he just fucks it up. <laughs> The next Lips. one, he misses with his bite, but oh boy, does he hit with his spear. And he does, uh, we're going to say, what is that? That's seven, that's 13, so half of that is six. Uh, seven damage, seven damage. So he gets you good with his spear. Uh, he pokes in it, and it goes into your side, and you feel the pain as it digs in. And he's like, I got him good. Look at this! Is how you do it? And he taps the, he nudges the dude next to you, next to him. Oh yeah, do you take? Oh no, you got the. Yeah, I'm doing the half mod, the half, uh, half damage there. Uh, I like it actually. I like the way you're doing it because it, it's much more hard mode. Yeah, the the next one is he's biting. He misses with his bite, but the spear lands. He's like, I learned from you. And uh, <laughs> let's see, nine. If he's using two hands, he's not using two hands, so he's using one hand, so that's three damage to you. Next one, his bite hits you, but, you know, he grabs onto your arm, but you quickly shake it off and it does one damage. 
the spear lands <laughs> really hard, and it hits you for oh. an, uh, three three more damage. And the last one... Oh, God. Misses with his bite, but hits with his attack. That's another three damage, sir. Oh, my God. This bullywug... <laughs> He Next time, let me tank, dog. This is a durable barbarian, if anything, dude. Come on. The bullywug, he this bullywug bounds over to here, outside. He looks and he says, "Oh my God, the gate is open! The gate is open!" And uh, <laughs> he's where's all the lizards? Ha! Oh, these these lizard folk are really gonna get it now. And uh, he tosses his uh, spear over to Lucis here. Uh, the spear oh, lands thanks, at bro. your feet. <laughs> spear Jeez. lands at your feet. And he's like, oh, shit. <laughs> I got no weapon now. So uh, that takes us to Jartek. <laughs> and you guys can hear Geth. Uh, you know, he's, he's kind of he's screaming in pain. At uh, all of these spears that are that are getting jabbed into him. Uh, Jartek hears uh, what's his name screams. Falcon, if you're here. Yes. Okay. Cool. You can see me. Yep. A little look south, everybody. Cool. You could double time yeah, it in there. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Let me double check here. Uh, so that room's covered in shit as well, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's good. Is the courtyard though? No, the courtyard's pretty clear. It's it's fairly okay. clean, other than the tracks leading in and out. I'm coming, Geth. So yeah, I'm gonna move my my full thirty, uh, and then I'm gonna double move uh, and dash through the door. So I'll get my I'll get fifteen. Oh, you're not gonna have time for that. Hail of thorns. Yeah. I'm gonna move all up into uh, Geth's rear Look and basically this. get 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 e back to back with him. Ew. <laughs> and yell. Hold on, I ain't done yet. I ain't done yet. Uh, goddamn character sheet. Yeah, I'm gonna drop. Don't worry, lad. I got your back. For the glory of Clan Gaddon. And All I'm right. gonna hit Geth with uh, healing word. Uh, that is a bonus action. Damn. So you move up to Boom. the door. Is, oh, it, is this right? I, so I moved up to the door and I dashed. Sorry, uh, let me actually move my guy. I took yep. my, my 30 to get to the door. Mm -hmm. and then my second move action was to get back to back with Geth. All right. And then your bonus was to heal. Bonus action to yeah. heal. Okay, so yeah. heal up eight, please. Just did it. All right. And that takes us to Lucis. You see this uh, bullywug that just threw a spear at you? He's looking around for anything that he can use as a weapon. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I'm basically going to look at the bullywug and say, You need to fuck off. And then I'm going <coughs> to I'm gonna go uh, just through the doors here. Which is my full movement. Yep. And then I'm gonna uh, do a hot, hot spell on these bitches. All right. Uh, I mean, obviously, oh, I'm gonna set somebody on fire. So, uh, do I know if any of these bullywogs have been damaged yet, or has that been hidden? Oh, they all memory? look. Uh, they all look pretty beaten from the from the first time Geth kind of. Took they a swipe at them. Yeah, they're all beaten. beaten. Yeah, they're they're not. Okay. You know, they're they're pretty bad shape. All right. Well, good luck with that dude outside, Falcon. Uh, I'm <laughs> going to firebolt. <laughs> Hope you don't fail that roll. This dude next to between Jartek and Geth. Firebolt closest to me, basically. Yeah. All right, go for it. You know, the old faithful. Hmm? Jesus. 12 versus AC? No, that's not right, right? Oh. You gotta do a dex roll? Or is that one I actually mean, AC? 
That's versus AC. That's, uh, his last one was versus AC as well. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a ranged spell attack, but it's versus AC. Yeah. yeah. Last time, nothing had 27 AC, so he definitely hit. Yeah, no, it's... He, <laughs> well, uh, it's... You got a 27 on yours? No, on the previous one, oh, you yeah, did. Yeah. My yeah, previous one. <laughs> so you, uh... Yeah, he wrote a 27. You fire, you let loose your firebolt, and uh, he's able to kind of spin his spear around and deflect your. And he says, "Not today. I'm afraid, what? tiefling." <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, that's that's what you got, man. He deflects it. Uh, Geth. Damn. Is it me or is it Falcon of? It, it's Geth. You got right. the 17. He got the 12. <laughs> and then. As soon as he responds to Lucius, I said, Oh, it's going to be today. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Got him. Uh, oh, oh, are you kidding? <laughs> oh. Well, or tomorrow. Oh, my Stab God. That's fired. Oh, thank God. Uh, Jesus so, Christ. You're using the tongue worm? All right, so. Yep. Yeah, you... you you know, you make your quip and you stab, but you don't. You you did one of those like no looks, right? Twice He's you missed, one. but then yep. you turn around and look, and you let loose. The tongue pierces through his head, and oh, it's his day. Nobody does the triple <laughs> D. Yeah. <That's> right. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> All right, Falcon Hoof, you've got this guy. This guy is like, oh God damn, I'm I'm gonna go tell the rest of the cultists. I gotta get to the, I gotta get to the lunch room, cause I'm also hungry. Ruh -ruh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he boy. wants to ward his buddies and also eat food. Yeah. Well, this has been a very traumatizing experience. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> uh, well, I wanted to hail the thorns that group in there, but looks like they're gonna be gone before you get there. These damn. <laughs> These damn lizard folk, they're gonna get it. Every last one of them. Farblex is gonna be pissed. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna take aim. Here comes that dramatic arrow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna try to pin him down with a shot to the leg. All right. Camera, camera cuts to a shoulder view of Falcon Hoof aiming down yeah. sides. <laughs> <laughs> This is a this is a uh, no the, the kill. Drop. This is a no kill shot. You're pinning strictly. Um. If he's dead, bro. Well, if you are, you blew not, off I'm his not leg. I'm not trying to knock <laughs> kill. Oh, I'm aiming. You're is aiming he for damage. Oh, he's damaged. Oh yeah, yes. Seventeen. Oh god. He so. Death. Yeah, you you aim, you, mm -hmm. you know, you hit his foot and it, it, you know, he goes to take a step. But he, when he leans forward, the arrow flips and and lands on him and explodes, and he goes into chunks at that point. <laughs> oh, uh, man. I'm picturing some really terrible, like, grindhouse level special <laughs> yeah. effects with this. The but, uh, impact from the first arrow and sent shockwaves through his chest, causing his heart to explode. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So he, um, you know, as before he explodes into chunks, uh, he's like... I really wanted that fly soup. <laughs> <laughs> and um, that brings us to Jartek. You're in the mix, my friend. Uh, so Jartek immediately gets to uh, Hammer Swing and takes a swing at uh, this guy. This guy down here? Yep. Yeah. Oh fuck! I would have hit all my attacks, but I forgot. Oh yeah. Never mind. I was gonna use reckless attack. I'm like, oh shit! I just remember. <laughs> you you swing your your hammer and you find your target. It crushes his skull. So yeah, that dude's done. Uh, Jartek is going to then move up next to uh, Geth over to the other guy's dead body and spend his uh, bonus attack. For my class ability. Hold on, let me spend it. <laughs> yeah. See, yeah. What's up with the smitings? What are you, Marana? 
Not yeah. he, McCain. I don't know, but he, I don't he want McCain don't want that shit. Yeah. I don't want to float in any way. He oh, that's okay. Damage. I whiff. Just kidding. Bonus de yeah, you whiff. You, you whiff. totally whiff it up. Whiff it up. I had to use my inspiration to not break my legs. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <dear. sighs> you, you guys don't know what would have happened, but... Uh, yeah, you might have broken legs. Alright, so Lucis, uh, you, you see the scene of, you know, the dude that, you know, you missed just before and Geth finishes him off with his tongue. Yeah. There's still four more guys here. Yeah, there sure are. Uh... Remind you that you do are wearing a cloak that does wondrous things. Listen, man. Oh, shit. You don't guide my RP. You don't guide my RP. <laughs> Tip. Fine, and Altera, you know, and Geth Altera. is attuned to this this totem, but has never pulled it out. Well, it's of course, like, I have no need yet. <laughs> it's like he's being a dick about it now. Yeah, yeah. He, he wanted it so bad. It's like, well, now you gave it to me. Yeah, now yeah. I have it. What, what do I need this for now? I don't need this. What's the point? I'm gonna go play Overwatch. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm going to uh not pay attention to the DM because yeah, go you know, ahead. he doesn't guide my RP. I do what I want. Rude. You do what you want. Yeah, um, no, live free. What's that? No, that's why mushrooms killed him. Live, live free, dog. <laughs> I agree with you. I'm living free, man. Uh, I'm going to use my... Uh... Oh, no. I keep forgetting that I have an uncanny dodge. Uh, anyway, uh, so... I will use my... I'm going to run up to... Live free, die hard. That sums Let's up say, guys' I'm going to basically run around this corpse of this frog bitch. Yep. we got some dramatic and music I'm, for this. I'm oh, going to do a yeah. sick... <laughs> uh, just for funsies, because I don't ever use it, I'm going to use a sick rapier attack on this frog in front of me. All right. Damn. I'm going to use inspiration. Yeah, do it. Yeah, inspiration! You, you run up with your, your I feel inspired. rapier and uh, you run him through and he's he slouches, you know, on top of the, the hilt of it and you, you can you throw him back uh, and Wait, he's did he's done for kill him? Oh yeah, you killed him. He was hurt already. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yes he was. I was gonna I was using my sneak attack, but I don't need to, so... Nah, you don't you need to. You accidentally the whole thing. Holy shit, guys, using a weapon is weird. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, let's go on to... Geth. Geth, you're up, my friend. Oh, boy. You got three targets in front of you. Well... I'm gonna get it. I'm going to engage in reckless attack. All right. Because I will fucking end this. Throw aside all concern. For the advantage. Yep, it gives you advantage on melee weapon attacks throughout this. Wow, you needed it. <laughs> yep, sure did. I figured that and, one out. And uh, the two attacks. Are you splitting these? Can you guys split? From yep, you yeah. can. You can actually even move in between them. Yeah, apparently. yeah. okay. Are you targeting... So from left, to right, left to right. Okay. Yeah, so one by one, you you make haste with your attacks, and one by one, these guys go down, uh, essentially clearing this Bullywug, uh, you know, barracks. And, and that brings us out of combat at this point. Yes! So, nice. But uh, you guys, you know, you see Geth is, is not in the greatest of shape that he's ever been in. No. Right Geth now, falls so. To one knee, catching his breath. If you could use some of your healing on him, it'd be a great aid right now. I don't want to burn all my abilities before we get to the, the boss of this place. I agree. Uh, and I'm going to go up to um, to Geth and lay on hands, I believe, is what, or just well, put on. Yeah, <laughs> lay on hands. You don't lay hands on me. Not just quite. Just cure wounds. It's just cure wounds. A and creature I... you touch regains a number of hit points equal to 
one D eight plus my spell casting, which I believe is And it should be two D eight now that you're fifth level. Du I I got double check that. Oh it is, it is, it is. Okay, um Alright, so you guys are in the room. Um, Hold on, did you cast it? I have a level two. Yeah. Well, um, do you want? Do you want me? To, do I roll it or do you? No, I. Yeah, you totally roll it. Okay. Oh, what? It's, and spamming sim symbols. Whatever, whatever your wisdom bonus is. Sorry, I don't know yeah. the night. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that Nightbot did that. Uh, Epic King. Uh, oh, that's weird. Yeah, I don't know what spamming symbols. Uh, maybe the ellipses. Oh. Ellipses. Maybe the ellipses. I don't know. That's weird. And uh, I will piggyback on the energy cast forth from Falcon. Okay. Huff. So it's plus. It's one. So uh, it'd be eight total. And I cast healing words on myself. Oh man, we all got that healing word. Dude, I'm a fucking half druid. Dude, that spell is <laughs> oh the, my god. That, that spell is one of the best low level healing spells. Uh. Was it one so that heal all of us? Spell casting, spell casting ability? What is that? Uh, so two you for, spell I think it's two for ability? me. I think it's two for me. It's two. F no, it's. What, what is it again? Druids go off of wisdom. Yeah, druids go off of wisdom. Off of wisdom. So what? So it's whatever your wisdom uh, bonus is. All right, got it. It's just one. All right. Yeah. A creature of your choice. So I roll a d4 with plus one. Epic King, I, I disabled that stuff. So yeah, you know, we don't care. We're we're all mature people here, and we we've deemed this as a mature audience. So, so it's yeah, I don't... damn Nazi mod, but yep. and uh, do do we want to call it here? We could. I think it would go. be good because I have to be up at yeah 8 a.m., which is five five and a half hours from now to yeah. <laughs> preschool. So. Yeah, so so you guys look around, right? And you notice that there you guys took note of the chest upstairs, you took note of you're looking around and um you know, this place is covered in mud and shoved into uh, a space behind the staircase is uh it looks to be like three treasure chests, right? Mm -hmm. And uh the chests you you start rifling through them and it looks like it's a, a shitload of like items made from copper and tin uh, that that maybe incorporate a few small damaged uh, semi-precious stones. Uh, the three tests, chests combined contain uh, 300,000, or th sorry, 30,000 copper pieces, 500 Ooh. silver pieces, and oh, uh, some assorted jewelry that Ooh. is in there. Uh, it's worth a total of 350 gold pieces. Oh, wait, sorry. The the stones are three fifty. The total value is seven hundred and fifty gold pieces. Their oh, weight between four. Well, their weight is over five hundred pounds. So there's three hundred and five oh. pounds of coins plus another two hundred pounds of jewelry. So uh, it looks like we gotta kill everybody, take over this castle, and <laughs> yeah. Hope hope that it doesn't do the classic, uh, you know. Uh, anime trope of falls apart after we kill its the main dude. <laughs> yeah. So as you're looking oh, through, um, you also notice, like you start, you know, you guys are starting to to divvy the stuff out, but uh, you come across uh, a two potions. One is one is red, and the other is a uh, is a very dark black, uh, almost inky in appearance, and. Um, if you uncork it, you kind of see this purpley, uh, almost familiar haze that you saw, like when you guys were in the ethereal plane, right? So, so yeah, two potions. You guys can um, <coughs> maybe write down some notes on those. Okay. And I'm assuming you're going upstairs too, to the chest. Might as well. Who's gonna take the potions? I will. Chest is locked. Um, Yo. But there is somebody that locked. does know how to unlock stuff, I believe. Nothing's yeah, ever get locked. Yeah, smash that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't smash that shit. <laughs> yeah, this thing is wrapped in chains and padlocked. So uh, smashing it would leave uh, a ball of, 
you know, it, it's not going to do much. I got this. Okay. Mr. Gorbachev, break down that chest. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and uh, roll your, your uh, slide of hand oh, to see if you pick this. I thought this. I was doing that next session. Hello. Go ahead. We'll, we'll, we'll finish it up. Hello. Fucking bitch. Oh. So you start to go to town on this thing, and uh, this lock is actually a little bit more robust than uh, what most locks are, and you hear the lock seize up. Sweet. So, well, guess what? Something's in there. You gonna try and strong arm it open? You gonna rip the chains apart or something? <laughs> uh, you tug and tug, but yep, nothing. It looks like it's gonna take a little bit more to get this thing open. So uh, we so, can end it there. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do that. We'll do that. I got something for you next session, Lucius. I'm ready for it. Yeah. Good game, guys. Uh, yeah. yeah. Good game. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out in the stream. Yeah, I appreciate uh, everyone yeah. coming by and checking us out. It's been a while since we've had some it was an epic one. hanging out. So it's good. <laughs> I think we're trying to actually make it regular again, right? Like yeah. it oh, used yeah. to be. So, well, but between Wednesday and Thursday, we should be able to manage that. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah. Speaking of which, tomorrow we are. Quit trying to steal my cards, Damn. son of bitches. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> no way. No way you're stealing my. No. Got it. No, oh, I. <laughs> um. Cool. So tomorrow we have son of a bitch. <laughs> you Tomorrow. Know have fun. Have fun. I have inspiration now. Card. Well, on that note, I give my inspiration to Lucis. He opens yeah. the crate. Healing. Yeah, sorry, Epic King. How do you like it? Epic King, we usually start around like eight eight, eight thirty ish. <laughs> um but yeah, it, it we usually go until we can't we got guys on the west coast, we've got guys on the east coast, so we try to try to make something in between there for everyone. Yeah. Sort of in between. Um, <laughs> tomorrow night we have the sci-fi campaign at 11 as well. So yeah, Jeff, keep that. 11 Eastern? Yeah, uh, yeah 11 yeah, Eastern. That campaign's great. You should see you should see Carrie not doing it's, DM. It's, it's pretty yeah, funny. It's not as good as Overwatch, yeah. I hear. It's pretty funny. It's not as good as Overwatch. That is true. That can <laughs> please, be confirmed by probably stop. multiple members. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> West Coast is the Beast Coast. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, please uh, come by and check that out tomorrow. Um, it's kind of like a you know a fantasy realm evolved into like the space age. So it's everything you're familiar with. No aliens or crazy stuff. Dwarves, elves, all that. So, all right. Yep, good game, and folks. Yeah, very uh, good. Yeah, watch the stream tomorrow. Come back next Wednesday for the next. D&D stream. Yep. Yes. And the, hopefully are, the conclusion. Uh, we're approaching the end of this yeah, campaign. I'm, I'm, ready, I'm, ready to put, I'm ready to put an arrow in Resmir's face already. Yeah. <laughs> get this over with. Oh boy, so am I. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll try to save the killing blow for you. <laughs> Alright. I know you're heavily invested in this. Oh, cool. so we're ending the stream. We'll see you guys uh, hopefully next week. Uh-huh. Thanks again. Thanks, everybody, for showing up. Thank you. Later.